Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Hello. I'm Aaron. Eric. Shane. Rick. And this is the Blind Wave. And I'm Cal. Oh, oh, man. Shot. Dang it. I thought he wasn't going to make it. <laughs> this is the Blind Wave Podcast. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Yay. How are you guys all doing? Good. Just uh, scramble to get set up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know a few people said was able to make it, even though the hurricanes, anyone that's in that region, we wish you the best. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. luck. Good luck. I, I like the frame. It was perfect. <laughs> oh no! What's, well, guys, they're flying we're, away. Bye, guys. We're Sorry, everybody. Technical difficulties. Calvin is now. Arrived. They see our wall. No, not the wall. Damn it, Calvin! That's a secret. We're gonna have to get the wall to sign a release form now. Never yeah, we do, don't we? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We generally try to do this before we start. But now you can see the bottom of the TV. Okay. All right. So what, what we got, guys? We were uh, we've been moving around the wave cave this week. Yes, we've been busy with that. That's been crazy. Um, th- this week has been like trying to take things out of what our old set was because we yeah. moved like what we had to to make sets so yeah. that we could film. But then we didn't move the rest of it. <laughs> we got to the point where, like, okay, we can use this now. It's like, all right. And then we got this. All right, let's just work for a bit, you know. But when it, yeah, we didn't finish the the second floor yet. So yeah, we watched the light. We've been finishing it, so that's been good. Um, but yeah, man, we have a lot of Funko Pops. There's quite a few pops. Yeah, there's at least a hundred. Several figures. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. How many Funko uh, Pops, like total, do you think we have? About ten. Like it's gotta <laughs> be about five hundred. I don't think it's that many. Really? I no. think it might. I think it might. I, I, we were trying. We were looking at what we had, trying to figure. Well, I mean, I'm, I got the pork. I, I, I was the saying pork four, army alone I, is like a hundred. Yeah, I don't want to count the pork. Seventy. I was saying four hundred yesterday, but now I'm thinking um, there's more. You think yeah. there's more than four hundred? Yeah. I, I mean, there's literally like seventy fucking porgs. Yeah. Can we not have the porgs? No, you had. I mean, they're pops. Yeah, but they're not like real pops. They are sure. real pops. <laughs> sure. They're actual, factual. Like, they're more than 200 you are. at most. They're more, pop, they're more pop than you are a man. Aaron. They're 200 at Hello. most. Calvin. What's happening? It's not me. Well, I have some video of the pop, actually. Oh, All right, do you? Okay. Yeah. Of the pop. Of I'm, the pop. I'm thirsty now. Calvin, so. you leave that fucking camera alone. Oh. Hey, guys. Rick, did you want to, are you plugged in? Did you want to plug in? Oh, yeah. It was plugged in. It's, it's, it's not anymore. I, I've not seen it get plugged in since we were setting up. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, this is part of the process here. Warning, it's not pretty. We're organizing our pops. Here they are. I don't know what we're gonna do. That's all of them, right there. Yep. Oh, Dang it, Shane! Wait, what's this? And this? And this? Jesus. <laughs> there are so I'm many. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna pop. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. There, there's quite a few pops. There's a lot. Yeah. We're trying to organize them by genre and categories and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Cause, well, the we want to change everything because this top room that we used to use for everything is gonna be like all streaming stuff. So, yeah. So that we have all of our stuff organized and set up and it's all ready to go when we need to go. Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta say that wall over there is pretty depressing. Impressive. <laughs> Some of you would have seen it in the uh, the uh, YouTube video for the podcast. It's kind of yeah. sad, yeah. It is like, kind of sad over there. It's like yeah. the end of an era, you know? It almost feels smaller and bigger at the same time. I don't know. It's weird. Like the TARDIS? Yeah. No. But yeah, I guess. I guess so. Makes sense. <sighs> but yeah, so that's what we've been doing for yeah. the last few days, trying to get all that stuff done mm-hmm. during this week. And that's why we were late. And there's still up. so much more to do. Yeah, yeah, we're still not done. There's yeah. still so <laughs> much more so to do. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, we so. haven't done right. anything to this room. No, we haven't done any of the top floor yet. Just take things away. And there's, away. there's still a, there's a weird mixture of, like, what do we put behind us in the sets and what do we put on the shelves otherwise? Because we can't show everything. No, no there's Even no way. Even with what we had on the old set, we couldn't show everything. We only showed, like, I don't know, four shelf areas, you know? like Four of the seven. Yeah. So, like, is it, I don't know. Is it, we're, we're going through trying to figure out what we're going to do with everything and how we're going to organize it, and it's it's tedious. Yeah. Definitely. It takes a while. But it's the worst thing we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. Like, what have we done that's worse than that? A locket. A locket was better than anything there. you could ever imagine. <laughs> 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 Creatively or intellectually. <laughs> I can imagine quite a bit. 
All right. So what was everyone's favorite things for this last week? <coughs> favorite things for the week? Not mean with you guys. No, yeah, just kidding. kidding. <laughs> um, go ahead, Rick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mine was probably I played six games of Summer Wars this past week. Three with Lessa and three with uh, someone who was at WaveCon, Wrath. Right. And it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. I thought I owned almost everything, but then I looked it up online. I own less than half. Oh, Jeez. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new target thing now, huh? Yep. New target goal. Yeah, I found out whenever I went to Columbus to the soldiery, I was looking around, and I found expansions to games that I didn't even know had expansions. Yeah. Like Sheriff of Nottingham and stuff. That I was like, oh, what? Oh, and it yeah. adds another player and adds new things and right. stuff. Yeah. So I was just looking at all these span- expansions. I was looking to get a new game. Instead, I started looking at expansions to games I already had, debating if I should get those. Huh. But Wrath was playing as the Tundra Orcs, and some of their units have a thing where after they go, they roll a dice, and if they roll a five or six, they get to go again. Ooh. Oh, and shit. so this one warrior dude went five extra times. Dang. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know how the game plays, but that's got to be bad. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, it's basically like giving him another two turns. Right? Uh, kind of. You get to move three units in a turn yeah. normally and attack with three. Um, so that guy was just a beast. It was like, like two turns in that one guy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, my dice were not quite so lucky. <laughs> Di- digital dice hate me because we were playing on tabletop yeah, simulator. Yeah, I can't yeah. play with digital dice. Did, we had played uh, Goblin Quest. Uh, I played it with uh, Melanie and Leon and Colson and then her two brothers, Melanie's two brothers, uh, or two of them. And uh, when we were playing... They started rolling their dice, and at one point, Leon rolled three dice, got all sixes. Yeah. And then Timmy got rolled three dice, got all sixes. And later on, they rolled five dice, rolled all fives and sixes, and I'm Jeez. like, I just want some people to die. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Rick made up that rule for the year because we were losing too much, and he was trying to help us because I don't, I don't, I don't think I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> so. What was your adventure like? Um, they, had, they, they, they made a uh, general guy mad. Uh-huh. Uh, General Sludge Budge. Okay. <laughs> use that yeah. name. They made General Sludge Budge mad. Um, they, there was a, an incident. They knocked over their tent at their encampment and stuff like that. So he told them that they were either kicked out unless they brought him a dragon tooth. Oh, okay. So, but he said that he left his dental equipment and someone stole it. So they had to find that first, which another little goblin had stolen it. But they knew that he liked this smelly goblin cheese. So they had to make a trap and catch him. And then they went to the dragon and got there. And then they had to get the tooth. Hmm. And when they got the tooth, like... They, they rolled really well at one point. On a, one person's dream was to ride a horse. Yeah. So they rolled f- five dice to ride the dragon, and that's when they got all sixes and fives. And I was <laughs> like, all right, I guess you're riding a dragon out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm like, okay. But it was, it was pretty fun. I think they, I think they enjoyed it. So. Good. That's cool. I have a question, though. Uh, is the goblin cheese made from you goblins? Don't ask. It, it's, it's made... Um, or four goblins. Oh, it's, it's made by goblins, four goblins, with goblins. Okay, very good. <laughs> that's delicious. How I, that's how I described it. American cheese, then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah. that was fun. But and if you guys haven't seen our goblin quest that we had, that was pretty fun too. Yeah, individually. Find that on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, you can find that on the YouTube. White it was a game American night. singles, complete with drunk Rick. Yes, it was that. It's me. <laughs> Finish by drunk Rick. <laughs> 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 All right. Who else um, had a favorite thing of the week? I started playing the new Spider-Man game, PS4. Mm-hmm. I've been doing it all. I've been doing it all week. It's been Man. great. Yeah, I've I been having f- such a good time with it. <sighs> You're just rubbing it in, aren't you? I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's one of the best games I've played Dude, since Zelda. Really? Yeah. Dude, I I started it with these guys for the the Friday stream we had last Friday. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I don't know if we're gonna be able. To, I don't know if we're gonna play this every Friday and beat this game. I think mm-hmm. I'm gonna stream this. So I, I'd moved my Wednesday stream to Sunday and started it then. And then instead of Pokemon Monday the next day, I just made Spider Monday. Yeah. And did that and played more. And then I haven't played it since Monday, and it, I, I just want to play it more. Yeah. It's so fun. Those those two or three hours for stream go by so quick. Like, I'm just swinging through the city. Like, yeah. oh, look, a crime. I go stop a crime. Oh, look, a backpack. I go get a backpack. And there's I haven't even done much of the story yet. I know. Just yeah. But I'm having for fun. like three hours. I, I, I did. One time I, uh, I started late at 7. And I was like, well, I'll go to 9. And I think I ended at 10. And I was yeah. like, shoot. I didn't even realize it. Yeah. It just it goes by so quick. But, like, it, everything just flows so seamlessly. Like, the web slinging. It's amazing. It's great. The web slinging I is love incredible. It. Like, yeah. I, there's, there's times when I'm doing it where I 
can't believe it's so fluid. I'm like, I want to do this, this, and this. And I do exactly that. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> you know? the and, and it, it doesn't feel automated at all. Mm -mm. It feels like you're in complete control of everything you do. It's great. Especially as you open up new abilities. The combat's right there with like Batman Arkham series. Like it just <coughs> it feels sure. so good. Mm -hmm. I can just do all kinds of stuff and you keep unlocking new things. I love the suits. Yeah. With like the suit powers and stuff. Yeah. That web blossom. Web blossom so good. It's almost I it. cheating. I don't it's not cheating, it's good. It's I, use it. I use it all the time, Eric. And it's not good on single bosses. I know. So I switched to the focus one. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I left her yesterday. I was like, I need to go grocery shopping because I don't have any food in my house. And as I was driving there, I was like, I wish I was playing Spider-Man right now. And I went, <laughs> I just turned and went home, played Spider-Man all night, didn't go grocery shopping. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> no so I did. That was my night. Was I great. feel the same way about Dragon Quest Eleven. I haven't actually got to play Spider-Man yet. I think everyone here but me has yeah. actually got to play yeah. it. Well, it was me, Shane, and Calvin that played it. And then Eric, yeah. he's like, I'm getting it. I got it. Yeah. Played it. Love it. Yeah. So, And you guys spent about an hour doing puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, yeah, that was yeah. great last yeah, week. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Shane was doing like the puzzle things you have in the beginning, where you got to like it's pipe dream basically with the oh, power yeah. at, at Doc Ock's lab, and yeah. then and then you have to match up like the lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. We spent like thirty minutes on one of those pipe dream puzzles, waiting for Shane to solve it. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 let him, let him do it, let him do it. Really? Was yeah. it thirty? I know it was a long. It time. was it was a long time. I know, it was at least thirty, 30. total. Uh, no, it was. I made a poll for chat of like, do you want us to move on or do you want to see Shane do more puzzles? It's like ninety percent Shane yeah, more puzzles. We did as many as we can do. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to. They were extra ones. Well, yeah. first I had trouble because I was just kind of like, all right, well, I was trying to learn the system and the controls, <laughs> and then I was able to do it quickly until we got to. Uh, he didn't like the math portion. Well, yeah, there was one where it's like you gotta get to eight, and he's like, well, I got seven. I was like, well, well you to put a two one. here instead of a one. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but then I'm minusing more. I'm like, yeah, then put a five here instead of a. A three, you know, yeah. like, and he's like, he wasn't getting it. Yeah. <laughs> and then at some point, instead of that one that spirals around, somehow he did it by going. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it works somehow. Like, All right, it works. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> good, good job. So. Yeah, those are fun. With, with those ones, I just build my infrastructure and then I go and do the math. Yeah, well, that's what I started doing after that. I would just go and just do it, boop, put everything there, and I, was, then I started switching yeah. them out. Well, that was I the was, one that I wasn't took even you doing the, the math after that. Yeah, it did take a while. I, was, I stopped doing the math. I was just switching them, mm -hmm. and then eventually. It, like yeah, he, he he tried to do <laughs> the math by trading out every single combination of extra tiles that he had, <laughs> it just, rather than just looking and like just throwing <laughs> shit. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> until it stuck. It, felt, it was slower, but it felt more effective. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like if I did that a bunch of times, I would it would eventually run, work. It would, yeah, well, I feel like it, it would eventually work. I thought it was gonna be right sooner. Yeah. So I, you know, just that one particular time it wasn't. Yeah, I loved your brute force method on the one of just like <laughs> just. Make every combination possible yeah. until it actually works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has Dragon Quest been good, Rick? Oh, Dragon Quest is amazing. Actually, there were a few days there. I wasn't sure what was going on with my CPU. My computer kept blue screening because the CPU was overheating. Yeah. Um, but the, oh, we got the, the, uh, <laughs> the thermal paste had just sort of dried up, so I cleaned it off, put new paste on, everything's good now. So it, it was like three days I haven't been able to play it. Yeah, it can't be too dry. Yeah. That sucks. I'm so excited to play it. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> um, it's just, it doesn't do anything new, and that's what I appreciate the most about it. <laughs> because I just love that genre so well, much. Well, the staples are still there. Yeah, exactly. But it, but it feels modern in a way. It, it does feel it's like... Because it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Like, I can't even describe. It's 60 frames a second. It goes up to, like, 4K. Wow. Um, do you have a 4K TV? No. Or a monitor? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to get one at some point. I have a 4 right now. If I had a PlayStation 4 Pro yeah. with a 4K TV playing Spider-Man on that, has got to look great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that town looks amazing. Well, that lo it looked amazing on that TV, dude. Yeah. Which, that's our 4K TV, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. is, that, is that a PS4 Pro that we have? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Is it a Pro? Yeah. I don't remember. Okay, yeah. I think it is, yeah. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't remember. We just got it. I don't know. Does anyone else have anything for the week that they want to go yes. over before I go into the news? Yes. My favorite thing um. for the week was whenever I was having to go. We were supposed to be getting the package for Rick. <laughs> yeah. Rick's packages were supposed to come to my house, and I got one, and then like a day after the mailbag, I got the other one, and then the other one was coming, and it didn't, I, I never saw it, and eventually Melanie's like, oh, hey, there was this note, and they left me a note to go pick up a package, and it wasn't in Marietta Post Office. They sent it to, to Lowell. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, no. No, not Lowell. Which is terrible. So, I had to go to Lowell's post office. To go oh get it. Oh my god! And on my way there, like I messaged in the morning because I was doing it before I came to work. Yeah. So I, I text messaged the group. Yeah. And like they all know that I wanted to tell them for the podcast, but I said I have to go to the no good, dark, damp, godless lull. Uh huh. They took Rick's package, and I must liberate it. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and then uh, Shane said, Shane put laughing and then put why is it in lol. I said the savages took it and left me with a ransom note. I have finally made it to the dark cave they call the post office. I must now converse. Let's describe this post office, Eric. The po- it was so small. It was just tiny. <laughs> like it was, it was kind of dark in the back. But whenever <laughs> I walked in, there was nobody there. It was just, there was nothing. So like I put, I must converse with the rabble that hold my treasure. But then there was no one there. And then I put a, I walked into a deserted and desolate shack, damp, dark, empty. I walked through in search of what should already be mine. Cut off from civilization, alone, no communication available to the outside world. I was just sitting, <laughs> shitting, and you kept getting emails like... <laughs> well, like, cell service, cell service is terrible out there. Yeah. yeah. It's, it <laughs> but, was really bad. Well, you wonder, huh? So, cut off from civilization, alone, no communication available to the outside world. For Rick, I think to myself. <laughs> after some time, no one in sight, I utter a hello. It echoes through the post office, as, a decrepit, as the decrepit sign called it outside. Mm-hmm. An old, haggard figure materializes. A woman, I think to myself. No way to be sure. <laughs> that was my favorite part. <laughs> I hand her my ransom note. Uh, this is all text messages I keep on sending to the group. Yeah, we, we have a blind wave group message. <laughs> yeah. I hand her my ransom note that was left in my house, desperately looking at her to learn what they want in return. She says one moment, then vanishes into the darkness. Suddenly, two monsters enter behind me, cutting off my escape. The trash people have These cut me off. People. <laughs> <laughs> the trash people, people have cut me off. Runs through my mind as I plan my next moves quickly. And after I say that one about plan my next moves quickly, Shane goes, "LOL, what happens next?" <laughs> <laughs> I was in the sauna, just naked, just like holding my phone up here. You know what I mean? <laughs> the haggard woman returns my prize. I quickly wrestle it from her and make way for the exit, pushing past the guards guarding the exit. They reach for me, ripping my clothes. I kick one in the knee and punch the other as I make a break for it. I see several makeshift vehicles that these savages use to move around. <laughs> I run to my truck and jump in and whip down what I can only describe as a dirt path, but what I believe to be roads to these heathens. Yeah, two of their vehicle, <laughs> two of these vehicles begin pursuit, but they aren't made for speed. I have to get somewhere I can go faster. I quickly spot a route back to civilization. I slam on the gas and leave these Philistines in my rearview mirror. <laughs> I have survived the pile of filth that can only be described in one word. Lol. <laughs> So I was like, my yeah, anybody movie. from Lowell's gonna be like, what's so bad about this? <laughs> <laughs> you live in Marietta. You're from Whipple. You're from this. Yeah. What's so bad about Lowell? It's just always been an inside joke that I just have always hated Lowell. Yeah. And then Shane moved there. <laughs> yeah. I, live, I live on the Despite outside of the you. village. Of you gotta go through it though. I remember. Well, I gotta go through Lowell. Yeah, I guess. I so. can take the King of River Road. Yeah, yeah, you can avoid it. <laughs> yeah. I remember go going and working at Doughboys, and. Uh, I was like, we were sitting talking, we were like, what all do we deliver to? And you go, well, Aaron, everything the light touches. And I was like, what about that? That's low. We don't go there. We don't go there. (laughs) (laughs) Never go there. (laughs) So, but that was probably one of my favorite things this week. Just, I was just standing in the post office typing that. And eventually I was leaving. It's like that. I was typing it. I actually, the last one, I sat in the parking lot (laughs) before I came in, finishing it to send it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I remember one guy from Lowell. He called the pizza shop. He gave me his, like, rudimentary address. I couldn't find it. And then I finally found this trailer in the middle of nowhere. And he's like, what the hell took you so long? And I said, I'm sorry, sir. You don't have, like, a number on your mailbox or a mailbox or, like, anything. He's like, mailman finds me just fine. I get my mail. I said, what's he put it in? You don't have a mailbox. He's like, oh, I got it at the post office P.O. box. I'm like, oh, all right, well. <laughs> You're an idiot, sir. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, go there. Your pizza's waiting. I was like, uh, uh, you compared me to the mailman. It's a work then, sir. Yeah. That's <laughs> trying funny. to reason with the unreasonable. <laughs> Dude, the, the other thing I had that happened uh, for me, what was it, like two or three days ago? Is this that picture? Yeah, reg- it was related to that picture. So. I went, I, I called Melanie before I left here and I said, hey, do you need anything? Because usually she says, yeah, get food or go get this or whatever. And she said, yeah. no, I'm, I'm good. I don't need anything. And uh, I remember the night before she said we were going to have hamburgers for dinner. So I wasn't, I didn't say, okay, well, what do you want for dinner? Because I already knew we were going to have hamburgers. So I got home and she had been baking pepperoni rolls and like these banana cupcake-y things. Okay. Like banana bread cakes. Ooh, I love banana bread. Yeah. Um, they're pretty good. I don't, I don't really like, good. I like the pepperoni rolls a lot. Okay. I don't I really like yeah. banana bread stuff. The, I've only Both had Melanie's amazing, baking in once in my life. Those cookies? And those cookies at my little... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I remember I, trying those I'm things like, I'm and thinking, like... The, the, I'm like I, like... I was like... 
It's like something you've been, I don't know. It's like you realize something bad just happened. <laughs> I've, I've given her a hard time. Yeah. She's she's really good. Uh, pepperoni rolls are really good. No, I get you. Yeah. And the I'm banana bread They were healthy. Good, but like, so, me. But back it. but back before, like I remember like most things she had, I was like, eh, this is okay. Or there would be hair in it. I was <laughs> like, going to say, uh, uh, I don't want to shit on Melanie, but I remember one time we all baked some stuff together and like hers was a cake. And it was like a shower drain. There was so oh much hair God. in that cake. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I didn't have that problem. It just like she was making these like gluten-free and her, her, she put protein powder in them. So that, that's why they tasted. Yeah, they would taste yeah, different. Yeah. So there was an actual reason. But, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so I got home and like she was doing that. And I was like, okay, what about, what about dinner? <laughs> and she's like, well, it's still frozen. I was like, oh, why didn't you say anything when I called and asked if you need anything? Yeah. So I was like, well, what are we going to eat? I was like, I'm going to go get Wendy's. Okay. And she's like, okay, because it was it's the closest thing I could sure. think of. Yeah. So I drove to go get Wendy's. We're gonna get the kids' food. I got like four four for fours, with okay. root beer, the double stacks, and like the French fries and the and the chicken sure. nuggets. And I got me like a spicy chicken sandwich, and went through. They say, okay, here's your. I got four root beers. I got my cherry Dr Pepper. I got all my food. I checked them. They were all like all the food was. I just mm-hmm. checked the food because the hamburgers need to be either plain or just cheese. They don't like ketchup and pickles and all that. Right. So I get home, and I get them all their food and hand it out to them. And uh, they're like, oh, do we have root beer? I'm like, yeah, here you go. And he's like, this is water, Dad. And I was like, what? And uh, Rick, if you show the picture, this is what – I l- opened it, and this is what I saw in the picture of root beer. Uh, out of syrup. Uh, and there's all four no. of them. That's all a, four of them. That's, culinary holocaust. That looks, sucks. They man. look you're, like that or worse. You're fucking at home, and that's happened. And you're like, I, what am I going to uh, do, go back? Yeah, like, like back. Idiot. They fuck yeah. you in the drive thru. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna yeah, go back sucks. now. That's so, like, people always wonder why I take a long time. It's because I'm checking. So, I, I, Joe Pesci. Check. <laughs> yeah. I dumped them all out and I had a two liter of root beer, so I poured them that. And I was like, all right. So, I went to my cherry Dr. Pepper and went to drink it, and it had like all syrup. It was like oh. the opposite. There was like, there was like no, no carbonation. Really? It was like just flat, just like too much. Flat fucking too maple much syrup flavored syrup. Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And I was like, the hell? And I had tweeted. <laughs> I tweeted because I tried to you call. Were just, yeah, you couldn't take it. I tried you had to, to let out your anger. I tried to over call Twitter. them, and it didn't ring or anything. So I tweeted. I put, "When you get your Wendy's home for dinner, and all the root beer has no flavor, hope they get it changed soon." And I put a crying like uh, stitch sure. in the rain. Yeah. And then I had tried my Dr. Pepper, and I did said, "Did you tag Wendy's?" Yeah, I did. Good. <laughs> I put, "Scratch that! All five drinks with no flavor." Thought my Dr. Pepper was safe, but alas! And then I just had Dean like shaking his head. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oh, <laughs> this is funny. Wendy's. Wendy's will we'll reply to you. They replied to my tweet and said, "We're sorry to hear that. Can you DM, DM us the address of your visit and your phone number? We'd love to make things up to you." Yeah. So I was like, "Okay," and I did. And and then I got a phone call at some point yesterday when we were working that I missed that I think was Wendy's his number. Yeah. Was well, it's probably Wendy. Yeah, so I need to try to call him back. But the other funny <laughs> thing was that I whenever I messaged them, um, I think it was Debaba who thought it was funny, I put like, Hi Wendy <laughs> My message was Hi Wendy. The address of the Wendy's is here and this is my number <laughs> But I called her Wendy, so but no, I thought that that was really cool. And there's a comment on there that says you should talk about this in the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Well, <laughs> That's why I la- was laughing yeah. about just then. So, well, good job for the the whoever does the Twitter on Wendy. Yeah, they, yeah. they do a lot of really fun reply back to people mm-hmm. and stuff. So. I've got this for you, Aaron. This yep. is the post office. At Lowell, uh, right? Oh, yeah, the yeah. Lowell that's post it. office. Can that's we? That's it. There's can like, we get a, a side view so look we at can the state of that street? I don't see know, how maybe. far back it goes. Yeah. Like yeah. It's I a mean, square. I mean, it's so small. <laughs> and, it, and, and then I walked in, and there was no one there. And I'm just like, they know I'm here, right? The door shut. It had a ding thing on it. I love how, how they're given that squirrel having sex privacy. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's excellent. But, yeah, so this is just – that's it, the, the post office is terrible. Lowell. Yeah. Fucking Lowell. Like, whenever I was in there, Shane was like – I didn't even know Lowell had a post office. <laughs> that was one of his well, I knew responses. how, I didn't know where it was. Yeah. And, then, and then Eric was like, too small to but find. But now that I've seen it, I think I might have been there a long time ago. Eric had one in, in the text messages that was like, uh, make sure you use the sanitation uh, shack or whatever before you come in. Or use the sanitation station out back before yeah. you come in. Yeah. <laughs> Do like an eye wash Well, I was thinking about the eye wash one. Yeah. <laughs> you just pump it and it just yeah. sprays water in your face. That looks like a Walking Dead set. <laughs> that's, it is. Very well should that's be. That's all that lives there is the Walking Dead. Uh, the Living Dead. 
Uh, Eric or Calvin, did you have any? Eric has Spider Man. Mine was Spider Man. That's right. So yeah. Calvin and Shane. Calvin and Shane, yeah. Calvin, you want to go first? <laughs> Mine actually happened today during mailbag. <laughs> um, Rick was unwrapping a package just after oh, having no. unwrapped a, a previous package. The first package he unwrapped was Candyland, of course. Mm-hmm. And here. <laughs> and he got. This very nice tube of lip balm. Candyland. Candyland flavored lip balm. Yeah. And uh, so he was he was opening his package and joking and saying, oh, it's, it's a movie. Oh, it's, like, it's a Candyland movie. I was like, no, it's not. And he pulls it out. It's a Candyland movie. <laughs> I was like, yep. what the hell? I was kidding. <laughs> Dude, that's a joke. We just happened to get a Candyland movie. That was my favorite part. I saw it was a DVD. I was like, ah, this is, I'll, I'll make this joke everyone will laugh it'll be yeah. great and then i cried <laughs> <laughs> that was good yeah it's the most amazing coincidence that, that was ever. really funny and i and for me it, it's just I can't, I can't think of any other word but blessing to see all this like unique candy land items come in i can think <laughs> a lot of words gene <laughs> blessing would not come to my mind <laughs> and it, for me it's like wow these people are getting more creative it's literally hilarious yeah. Yeah. I want this to be a, it's more like a, a torch weekly weekly joke for the rest of my life. <laughs> Me too. Even when we retire, you know, yeah. one day, hopefully years and years from now, 30, yeah. 40 years from now. It's like with the Rick, porgs, Rick it was always just porgs. Yeah. But with Candyland, there's so many layers yes. to it, you know? I mean, there were porg backpacks, there were giant porgs, there were plush yeah. porgs, there were pop porgs, there was Chewbacca with a porg. There was porg. <laughs> there was, uh, <laughs> There's cooked pork. We didn't even get that. Yeah, what was the, the leggings? Those are There's pork leggings. Yeah, yeah. the leggings, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pork shirts. I have a I have a shirt that has a pork body with Shawn Mendez's face holding a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> what? what am I doing with that? Oh, it's gosh. all the things that you hate. <laughs> I have a shirt with you fucking a story. shrimp. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm... Why not? I think there's also one of a shrimp fucking you. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a stick figure of me. I'm not even in that kind of shape. No, you're not. No. <laughs> Not yet. Doesn't this uh, remind you of a Republic gunship? I was thinking that, yes. Yeah, actually. I never thought of that before. I didn't think of it. For I'm the survivors of Perimeter Courage. I thought of it before. Okay. All right, Shane, did you have something? I've yeah, there's a few things. Um, <gasps> a few. A few of your uh, favorite things this, this week? This past week, a lot of my uh, some friends from high school came in uh, to go to the Sternwell Festival, which is not something that we normally hang out at. But they did, and uh, like two out of five of these guys, I've been together i've been with them since kindergarten so uh it's it, it, it's truly a pleasure hanging out with them because y- you guys have those friends and most of us here are like that too um you don't talk to them for like a year and then you see them again and you kind of fall right back into it it's not like an awkward like oh shit you know sure it's more like oh my gosh i haven't seen you forever and you catch up immediately it was it was like that one of my one of them his name is zach he works for nasa so like um, he's got kind of like a chip on his shoulder. He works for Aaron, w- which is, anyways, um, like this guy. His, his his dad's a doctor. His mom works like high in the Republican Party as some like like hardcore person. Okay, and uh, he went to law school and ended up like not finishing. And he's like, "What are you gonna do with your life?" Well, a combination of definitely education, skill, and a little bit of who his mom knows. Now he works at NASA and he helps run the Twitter and does all kinds of stuff. He's always, like, like in the White House. He's, like, snapping pictures of me all the time. And he's like, he's like, how's YouTube, motherfucker? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, how many uh, followers you got on your Twitter? I'm like, oh, uh, this much? He's like, oh, we got, like, 20 million. I was like, that's not you. <laughs> how many you got? You know what I mean? We built this from nothing. You inherited this Twitter from someone else. <laughs> like, you're doing NASA. Yeah. yeah. Not but your like, own brand. It's downstairs. I meant to get it. He brought me, like, a coin, you know, that was on uh, – the metal used for the space from the first space shuttle. Yeah. And he's like, oh, there you go, man. And then, uh, and then this motherfucker gave it to like five other people. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I thought I was special. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you in that uh, high school story, whatever it was with those girls. When you gave like all girls like a flower or something, right? You bought like two dozen roses. You're killing me right now, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't remember. I, I gave a lot of girls flowers. You gave other people flowers other than me. <laughs> I can't really remember. I mean, I gave a lot of girls flowers. I, I mean, thought it was a story where, like, you like you gave three girls the same thing, and then they all found out about each other well, or something. Yeah, it wasn't flowers. What the hell was it? It was, yeah, it was I, so I, many I, versions. Well, of I, went to, I, 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 I went to Victoria's Secret, 
and got them all like the same damn thing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that, and that's what happened. And that, that wasn't good. Speaking of were NASA, they, that were they on sale? Is why you got them all matching, or did you? Well, I know it's like I like. I like the way it looked. Um. <laughs> I want to see this on you. Yeah, I want to see this on her. And I didn't get to see it on on two of them, just one of them, unfortunately. Uh, Yeah, when I didn't care. What a waste. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) But um, so we had a great time hanging out. Uh, I showed them the wave cave. Yeah, the fireworks Uh, were good too. The fireworks were great. We all got together. The rain. As we, everyone but Rick, we got together to go on the roof and hang out and watch the fireworks together. I'm sure you saw in Calvin's Snapchat. I believe they're on the Instagram as well. But um, it's funny because Danny who is one of my best buds since kindergarten. We're all friends together. He is varsity every single thing he ever did in his life. Uh, his dad played professional golf until he got hit by a semi when he was like 26. Shit. But Shit. He's like, that he, driver should have yelled four. He, uh, like he's got pictures. <laughs> with Rick like, Jar. He, he's got pictures like when he was younger with all these celebrities are eating dinner. Like he, he drove with Wayne Newton like from somewhere up north down, down into Ohio. Like and it just he's got all these crazy he's like literally like Forrest Gump, like Forrest he tells all these he's stories. Had that kind he's, of life. yeah, he's had that kind of life. Uh, and you know, and I've actually read the sports gene. And if you have a parent who is a professional in any sport, you're you're like two hundred times more likely to be a Division One athlete in any sport. So it just Danny like literally inherited this greatness. So it's pretty cool. But he does more. He he's better off than like me and Zach. But he sells like milk and ice cream. You yes. know what I mean? And he's like a health freak, so he doesn't even do dairy anymore. Yeah. So he's like, he, he does really well in his job. He's like, oh, I'm, you know, what do you do, Shane? I'm like, oh, I run a YouTube channel with my friends, you know, and I, I think we, we touch people, and I know they touch us. Uh, don't, don't, Aaron. <laughs> and then Zach works for NASA, and, 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 and then, uh, and Danny, what do you do? Oh, I sell milk and ice cream, but I make this much money. Oh, okay, now I get it. <laughs> he lives in Hawaii, too. Dang. But geez. I gave him a ride, uh, He's, uh, he's leaving for the airport Sunday. I had to take him to Morgantown uh, yesterday, and I had to wake up real fucking early to do it. We're driving there, and we're having a good time talking. It's pouring down the rain like a fucking monsoon. <laughs> and as you guys know, there is a big storm, you know, North Carolina out the coast. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's a hurricane. And then my windshield wipers just stop working, like, in the middle of this three-lane, <laughs> inter- three-lane highway. And huh. there's turns and everything. And I'm like, Danny, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, uh, I don't know, Shane. You'll, I don't know. So, you know, we're rolling down the window, and I'm sitting there, like, out the window, like this, water's pouring on my fucking face, you know what I mean? It's like, he's, you know what I mean? He's like, dude, I think I can see, just get back in. He's like, I'm very sure you can see, you just gotta focus on the car in front of you. I'm like, yeah, but then you gotta get real close. He's like, I can do it. So we switch, and he's driving, and he's got his shades on. He's like, you know, you can see, you put off the light. You know what I mean? So he's driving. <laughs> yeah. And then, if you guys would see that, I... Wanted to put in a video, but I couldn't send it to Rick. Uh, it's on my Snap story, actually, um, where I get out of the car and I wipe the windshield down, and everyone's looking at me. What's that guy doing? You know, why does he just turn on his windshield wipers? You know, start honking at me, yeah. flipping me off. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> but it was it was like a two hour and forty minute like ride, mm-hmm. but it turned into like four hours. You know what I mean? Just because of like well, it turned into like it turned like a little over anything. three hours, and then a little over three hours back. I had to keep pulling over and talking. And what's cool is I got to talk to my friend Benji. Okay, he lives in, uh, I think he lives in Norway. Norway. Uh, he lives in Norway. I went to high school with him. Mm. And we, uh, but, and it, it, I was explained to this, I explained to my dude, okay, I, he was a board exchange student. Okay, we all kept in touch with him. So I had to talk to him in like a year. So I got to talk to him. So, and that was really cool. That's pretty much highlight of my week. <laughs> <laughs> so you were pulling over because you couldn't see. And yeah, then and, then I, and I pulled over on and then you would the shoulder. People. And then I, then I would call people, but I was calling him. I was talking to him. He's like, what are you doing? I hear rain. Okay. I'm like, I'm sitting on the side of the fucking highway. He's like, why don't you drive? I'm like, my fucking windshield wipers are broken. I told you that. Have you fixed them now? No, I haven't. But there's another storm done. coming, Shane. Jeez. <laughs> I, well, worse I, than the first. I know. He's like, he's like, you need to get your YouTube channel to, to fund you another car or something. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> What's funny is because my piece of crap car, like, that, I, you know, I need new tires really bad. Yeah. And my air always comes out of all of them, but my top left tire. Like really, like every day. Top I'm, left. My front, my front left. Oh, okay. The one on the, the one <laughs> He's got one on the roof in yeah. case he flips over. <laughs> in case I knew I told people you do that. My front left tire, uh, I got to fill it up every day, every fucking day. It's terrible. I hate it so much. Jeez. You get a new tire. Well, I'm waiting. Get one tire. Get two. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I, I've, I've heard that you always should get two or four tires at a time. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I did that for a long time. I had one tire that would, like, every day go down. Your truck. truck. Yeah. <laughs> but he was like, we need like, Every day. I did it for, like, five months. I remember that. <laughs> well, well, uh, well, it, back up. Yeah. It's, it's fine for another ten hours. I was actually driving ten Joyce. Hours? I remember there was one time I called, and I was like, Eric, I'll be a little late. Like, I got, a, I got like, a flat tire. I need to get air in this. And he's like, dude, man, go to go to get-go, go to the Starfire over by the, the Wendy's, or go to the whatever. And he named up all the free. All the ones that you can get for free. All you the free Which, air. technically, in the state of Ohio, you can get free air everywhere. Uh, because it's, like, a law. But they just put a coin thing on there. People don't bother to go in to ask to turn the machine on. They just put coins in. Or you don't know that you can do that. Yeah. I, I learned that as well. I always go where it's free. So you get free air then? Whenever you, you get free air anywhere in Ohio. Do you, have you? Uh, you get a flat tire. Do you put the coins in, or do you go over and say, "Hey"? No, nah, I put coins in. It's too. I guess it's just too awkward. I don't want to do that. Well, probably, you put coins shit, in. This guy knows. If that's I know. An, if yeah. that's an actual law. Try to, like, si- try to silence me. Now that I know, I'm gonna do it and not even fill my shit up. Yeah. Just, just turn, turn the air on. All the have yeah. a, <laughs> just, I want to go to the barber shop <laughs> just, and then spray just, my fucking back just, off. Are you just doing like a selfie? Yeah. With my hair. I think that's a law. I've heard. I've read about it recently. Okay. I was just Relatively wondering, like, re- recently. like if we went you can get free water in Wales, but not air. Okay, if, that. No, you, we went in somewhere. You can get free water here. Yeah, you can get. That's well, a law as well. He said in in Wales. Oh, yes. It, so if if Britain. we go in, would they? I wonder how people would react because I well, imagine most of them don't know anything about yeah, it. Some probably people, not. Like from what I understand, I've only like again, I've only really read about it. Is that you can get free air anywhere, but there might be a stipulation where if you get gas, you are entitled to free air. But some of them, I think it's just, no, you can get free air. Those, they just got to go and turn the machine on for you, the compressor. Damn. Like a guy comes out with his tractor tires. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just there for hours. I want to go there with, like, one of those blow-up things at the fair. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like a bouncy <laughs> castle? Bouncy houses. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this air is mine. Air but he was free. like, you need a, we need to start you a fundraiser for your car. You need to get your YouTube channel and people to do that. I'm like, damn it. I wasn't even driving my crappy car. I was driving Joy's nice new car. Yeah. And I took it to AutoZone. And this, this this hick ass place on the way to Morgantown, then you know this place existed. It's not even on a map anywhere. It's smaller than Lowell. Auto is like AutoZone, a gas station, and like just like a Dollar General. That's sure. all, all this place was. So when I got there, it was like Lowell. When I got there, so we don't have worse it, than we, Lowell. We, we don't have a we don't have an AutoZone. No, AutoZone. <laughs> yeah. We got there, and there's this guy, like in this like old ass truck, with Blair in his country music, and he's giving me the death stare. Why? They don't uh, like people whose windshield wipers fucking... don't work because that's illegal to drive. Oh, yeah, because yeah, he's an old white redneck and he's just g- giving me this dirty look. You know what I mean? Did you like, tell him high? Uh, I was wearing like a polo shirt, you know what I'm saying? And like my hair was done. He's looking at me like, what's this boy doing here? You know? Oh. You don't know what it's like though, so. I guess not. You shouldn't have worn a polo shirt. You have that privilege. Guy's probably you have, you that have, guy was probably you have blind privilege and, barely, and almost deaf. And he's just looking, you know, listening to the music. Uh-huh. Shades over there like, He's in the driver's side. Like the last guy who was in a truck like that yelling, he was going to fuck him up. He ended up being a cripple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, this guy was talking some shit. Like, do it, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he was talking. Yeah, he's angry at the, he, at he the world, man. Yeah. He, 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 he was throwing some mad shade of what happens if I would have got out of my car and pulled him out of his car. You know what I mean? As soon as you saw me gone, he just wheeled out that ramp. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gosh. All right. Well, let's move on to some news. Uh, this Tuesday, Nintendo Switch's online service is finally launching. Yes. Woo-hoo. Oh, really? Uh, it's, no, yeah. it's already launched. It's just now they're charging for Yeah, now it. they charge it. Yeah. It's going to be $20 a month. Um, you can play online. It, it's the only way you can play online. Mm-hmm. And also, you'll get 20 free NES games at launch. I'm sure they'll talk about it more today for the Nintendo Direct. 20 free NES games? Ooh. Including mm-hmm. uh, Super Mario Brothers 1, 3, and The Legend of Zelda. Ooh. That'd keep my kids occupied for a while. Yeah. And it's $20 a year or as low as $4 for a month if you only want to get it for a month. $20 for a year? Yeah. That's the cheapest one yeah, out of Yeah, you like, said $20 a month a little bit ago. No, no, no. $20 a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, dude, that's, that's, I knew it was cheap, but I'm thinking that's not that cheap. Let's see. What's uh, PlayStation Network? I think it's forty nine ninety nine a year, and I think it's 60 a year for Xbox Live. I think something maybe, like that. Maybe. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, it also bring cloud saves as well, but not all games will take. Uh, will have that feature. Yeah, yeah. But it will be available for developers. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So it's not adding anything though when it launches. Really, it's just going to be now the pay stuff for I what have you've had for free for a while. But yeah, sounds about right. I mean, they they announced but they I mean, were going to do it, that before. Although they, they might announce more stuff at Nintendo Direct today. Yeah, which, which is, is seven. Tonight. Yeah. Right. Tonight, tonight six. 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 Us. Six. Yeah. Blind with Center Time. Okay. But I mean, uh, yeah, I'm. Well, there's this rumor 
uh, you know, I guess we're not going to watch as a group, but there's this rumor basically that they're going to have some Banjo Kazooie stuff. Damn it, Shane. That'd be good. I was going to watch it at home. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a rumor. Well, I don't, I, yeah, no. I'm going to be waiting for it. Where's Banjo Kazooie stuff? Well, this is the Nintendo. Well, temper Direct. your expectations. This no, is, just don't you can't temper. Just, you can't temper? Just what? You can't temper your expectations? You can't fix your windshield wipers? I, it's <laughs> 150 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> but this is the Nintendo Direct that was canceled last week because, because of the earthquake. The earthquake, yeah. yeah. So. I, I, I mean, you know, some of the rumors are probably people that have already seen it, you know? Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, some of the other NES games that will be free is Ice Climber, Legend of Zelda, Balloon Fight, Soccer, Tennis, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, Dr. Mario, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Donkey Kong. Nice. And there will be a total of 20 of them. And they will add more ongoing huh. okay. as well. Cool. Well, that's cool. I mean, PlayStation and Xbox already have, like, they're like, here, get free games, too, if you do yeah. this. Which I've been PlayStation Network one for... Ever. So yeah. I just had this yeah, huge Yeah, for like a decade, right? Like this huge <laughs> library of downloadable games that I have them I probably don't even play or anything. But every yeah. once in a while... It's like every other console you've had. There's some pretty good things. Yeah. So that's how I got a... Fuck, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, you're talking so fast to forget something so fast. Is it just NES games that they have available right now? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they'll move to SNES someday and then... Nintendo 64, maybe they'll keep going. That it's that would be awesome. Up. It's it's r- that would be cool. It's yeah. pretty crazy that I mean the games are so good that they can keep kind of like re-releasing them, like creating this new service every generation. Yeah. Because I mean, with the Nintendo Wii, they did it probably the best way. They give you the, a lot of these games quickly every month, and and with the Wii U, they they cut in half, raise the price. Well, you know what I mean, I, I remember for the Wii being like insulted that like you had to pay five dollars for like an NES game. It's like, I have all these already. Yeah. That's I have all cheap. these on my NES and my <laughs> Game Boy Advance. That's actually cheap for a lot of them. If you're trying to buy them now somewhere. If you're trying to buy them now, yeah. They're very cheap. Uh, I mean, and $10 is not too bad. Because if you look at, like, they're PSN. Really and, don't and they it, also work better yeah, than on, the like, the console? Yeah. Because if you try to play that NES on, like, an HDTV, it's not going to work very well, right? Because of the lag, Aren't yeah. they redone so they won't have that lag in the mm. new downloadable versions? Yeah. But, yes. but a lot of new TVs, thankfully, they have, like, a video game mode, and it helps. It doesn't even help... All the way. It helps a lot more. Yeah. Which is, is, is really weird. So I'm like crappy ass TV at home. Look, that's like 480p and half it's messed up. I can hook my Super Nintendo to that. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Damn. What? Yeah, but like <laughs> when I when we hooked this amazing half Super Half it's beautiful. Well, yeah, half it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so like, well, you can see it just really dark. You know what I mean? Like the backlight is broken. So like we got some awesome stuff in the mailbag, but we, we also got a real Super Nintendo. So when I hooked it, up back there, like there's all this input lag on the new TV. I'm like, yeah. damn it, we need to buy an old TV. Yeah. So yeah. Did anybody watch? Did anyone hear about the Serena Williams, Naomi Osaka tennis mm-hmm. stuff? Yep, I saw it. No. Okay. No. Uh, so what do you think about that? What happened? Because I, I I watched like that ma- like I watched the end of it. Yeah. Like, after I heard about, it, I saw mm-hmm. it on Twitter. Can you describe it for the people that don't know what you're talking about? Okay, it was the U.S. Open. I think it's the Grand Slam. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Serena, who is basically the, the greatest tennis. Yeah. Woman player of all time. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm woman familiar with woman that. player. And Naomi Osaka, she's Japanese. She's like 20 years old. Uh, idolized her, her whole life. Well, they had, they had, they're in the championship. And, uh, and, and Naomi, she was better, you know, but I don't think a lot better. But she was playing better. Serena wasn't playing her best. And the referee issued a code violation to her. Uh, to for, Naomi? No, for no, so Serena for getting coaching. Well, it's kind of a dumb rule because it's one of those things where everyone, in, like, because. And in and, and most tennis matches, you're allowed to get coaching, like which is basically your coach yelling at you, giving you hand signals, like move close, move closer to the net, whatever else. Like sometimes, for some reason, they say, oh, in this match, you're not allowed to get coaching. It's really stupid. But everyone does it anyways, and everyone knows everyone does it anyways. Well, this guy issued her a warning for, hey, no coaching. And she's like, are you, are you kidding me? Yeah, everyone does it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then uh, something happened. She got upset. And she uh, smashed her racket on the ground, which everyone does. But, you know, it's more likely you'll, you'll get a deduction for that. And she did. And she got upset. And she was yelling at the, uh, the, the official, the ref, who, uh, what the fuck is his name? I can't remember. I thought I had written The ref that. is fine. Yeah. Um, and she ba- <laughs> basically said, you wouldn't have done that if I was a man. And he's like, what? That's not true. And she's like, you're a fucking th- even She didn't say fuck. She said, you're a thief and mm-hmm. you're uh, a liar. She went out. She went off. She went, she went off. Uh, <laughs> you know, and she's like, I'm a mother. I would never lie. 
Yeah, and, and people are an example. Or and people like are like, you know, what is this? Is a fucking yeah. this is a sports match? What is you being a mother got to do with anything? Yeah, I mean, but but, but the thing is, like, and, and she and then he deducted another point, and she ended up losing that match because of it. Yeah, and she ended up losing the whole thing, even though she was down one anyways. Yeah, this put him more behind. Like, like, honestly, he and, and the thing is, the conversation was, was he being sexist? Probably not, because he's refing two women, so he deducted a point from her. Well, he's not favoring he's like, one. Yeah, he's not favoring a woman because she's a woman and, against a and, man. And, and he's ref men, and he's been kind of hard on them too. But he's inconsistent. Like sometimes he'll call you for coaching when you're not supposed to be, and sometimes he doesn't. But he yeah. did there. He has a convenience of hiding behind the rules. Like no, I followed the rules. You broke them. But like when you're playing a high, in any high level sporting event, you don't want the ref at all. They don't come there to watch a ref. They come there to watch two competitors compete at a high level. So like NBA championship, like Super Bowl, like. They, they try to, like, minimize how much the ref will interfere with the game. Yeah. And this, she might have lost. She probably would have lost. She might have lost anyways. She might have won. She might. She could have. It would have been very hard. She was already down one. Okay, but, like, you know, that, like, basically, like, the, the thing about it is Naomi, Saki, no, Naomi Osaka, no one even knows who she is because Serena and this ref's getting all this attention. Yeah. So she won, and maybe she didn't win the way she wanted to, but she definitely, she made it there to the highest stage, idolizing Serena her whole life. Uh, but did you hear what happened with her recently? No, re- no. Uh, Adidas or whatever just gave her the, uh, I don't know, like one one of the deals was like the biggest deal any female athlete has ever gotten. Really good. Yeah. She certainly deserves so it. So she definitely I mean, deserves that. I, I mean, to me, she's like because I pretty much just watch like you know NBA, NFL, everything else, soccer. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it was but her. But she's certainly like the most recognizable female athlete I know. She's awesome. She's been in the sport for years. Her and her sister Venus, and they've been dominating it for years. Yeah. So that that's awesome. I mean, I don't. No, I mean the the other girl that the, won. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. The Japanese got, girl, yeah. uh, Naomi. Yeah. yeah. Well, good for her. Um, yeah. was it I mean, I only you know this, this, like, I don't this, watch this kind of either. yeah this kind of thing isn't of huge interest to me. I just I briefly saw the uh, the exchange and it just came across kind of I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. like on, I think it was, they both messed up. Like I don't think he should have fucking interfered sure. with the game at all. I'm sure that there's uh, very, especially. Like, at a high level like that. Sure. And she shouldn't have brought up, like, you know, it's because yeah. I'm a woman. I'm like, well, I don't think that's I true. mean, I, you know, uh, anybody, there's going to be a, a million people saying that it's sexist, that it's racism. But there's going to be very passionate people that know a lot about tennis that are going to fall on either side of it. So yeah, like, I, when, I, when, I, I was just mean? watching, like, tennis, like, analysts. Like, I was watching first take, like, this guy was on there. He's like, well, I'm a tennis fan my whole life, and this is why and he's explaining everything, because I don't yeah. really know about tennis either. What do you mean he shouldn't have interfered? Like, he shouldn't have interfered when he could have ignored it when they're playing at a high level. He shouldn't have said, hey, like, don't get coaching. He called for coaching, but it's kind of one of those rules where it's like, well, no one really Yeah, ev- everyone that. gets coaching, and, you know, so don't interfere with the game. Don't interfere with the athletes. Let them play their game at a yeah. high level that no one else in the world can do, and don't interfere. Definitely don't be responsible for her losing a game. And you can say, well, she's... I mean, yeah, she's equally responsible, though. Like, she shouldn't be smashing her racket on the That's on the true. Ground, yeah, but know? everyone does that. Well, well, what I'm saying is, Is like, it allowed, and do other people get punished when they do it? Sometimes, sometimes they don't. Okay. So but this like, is just did, one did, of those times where... Well, and that's what people are complaining about. Like, he did the interfere with the game at a high level. Like, it, people don't go there to watch him. They go there to watch these two ladies. Yeah. And they're amazing. And one reason she might have lost is because of him, for sure. I mean, but, well, you know, if you don't want the rule enforced, don't have the rule. Sure. Yeah. Also, yeah. maybe. But, they should, if, but most if, most if, people in sports if don't think that. Don't care about people being coached, and they should remove that if it's a rule mm-hmm. for tennis. And then there's no like, well, it can be, it can't be done. Yeah. I mean, I I agree, but I, I mean, I, it's one of those things. Why agree like, too? It, but it's like, such a tr- long-standing tradition of yeah. Well, it's of like in the NBA, this, how the games played. That, like in the NBA, mm-hmm. in the finals, people will, will you'll foul hard. Yeah. You'll get some bloody noses, broken teeth, and the ref lets them play out because like, mm-hmm. well, this is the fucking NBA championship. These guys are gonna be after it. There's gonna be some blood. You know what I mean? And that's, yeah. they let them play out. And that's the idea in most sports. I mean, eventually all refs are going to be robots. And we're going to need rules yeah. that are, cons- like, done every time the same way. So yeah. we got to get those rules right now. The idea is not to interfere unless you really have to. When, you, when you're playing at the highest level, that they're literally playing at the highest level. Yeah. So it was disappointing. But also, she brought up some shit she should not have brought up. She, well, you know? I mean, she also, they den- she denied that she got any coaching. Yeah, and then her, and then her, then her and, coach and, said, and then yeah, her I coach. coach is like, oh, you know, I was definitely doing that. So yeah. that, you know, later she gets caught in the like, yeah. you know. But it's just one of those things, heat the moment, this peak performance athlete, you know, wanting to get away from that kind of thing and just keep keep going like, with the game, you know. Yeah. So not only did she lose, but she was also fined $17,000 as yes. well. Jeez. Yeah, which is nothing to her, but yeah. still, you know. 
It's just most, you imagine most, like she might have lost, but like dollars. I can't. I, I don't know. I'd be either. like, fine, <laughs> fine. Try to find me. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So you know. you're gonna be like, fine. Here it is. Fine. Here. You're gonna pay. I'm like, I can, I got, they'll I take your black figures, Eric. It's like half my black f- series. <laughs> <laughs> I got four kids. I have, yeah. <laughs> have a kid. You have a kid. And also this <laughs> month we can. I'll give you this Anakin Skywalker first edition. You know, from the blue line. Oh shit! All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Know? And also, I'm looking forward to this weekend, Saturday night. There is uh, a boxing match, probably one of the biggest ones of the past few years. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Triple G, uh, Gennady Golovkin versus Sal Alvarez. Uh, Neither is a little Mac. I don't know any of no, them. Oh well, uh, it's actually their is second Sal fight. Sal related to Eddie? Well, no, no, he's not. Okay. He's this guy's no. He he he's uh, he's 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 Mexican. Well, actually, he's a redhead, but a lot of immigrants from there. You know, like they immigrated to Mexico, like Louis C. K. Was is Mexican. like during the uh, the potato famine. Okay. Uh, but we call him Canelo. I guess it means cinnamon. Um, it's their second fight. Their first fight was amazing, and during the fight, uh, they called it a draw, which was criticized across all sp- in, in all sports because it really looked like Triple G, who's older, a little bit bigger, won. Uh, so one of the refs actually got in trouble for, like, maybe taking a bribe or something like that. Or she was under investigation. And they ended up saying, no, she just fucked up really bad. So they're having their second fight now. So it's Saturday night. And it's, like, the thing I'm looking forward to the most, pretty much. Cool. So, yeah. All right. I've got this story here um, from The Hollywood Reporter. Henry Cavell's hanging up his cape. So it would seem. Well, I mean, this, nope. is, this is a report from The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, uh, through official channels, there has been nothing like that stated. Uh, I think it was WB that said they, they still feel like they have a great relationship with Cavill. And yeah. yeah, they said, while no that. decisions have been made regarding any upcoming Superman films, we've always yeah. had a great respect for and great relationship with Henry Cavill, and that remains yeah. unchanged. He, he so was actually, he, he's choosing to walk away? Well, well the, the thing that I think I heard it happen is that they were trying to negotiate him appearing in Shazam, and his manager or his, his agent requested too much money for it and they said ah never mind then is what is what kind of started this and that's yeah. what the hollywood reporter got it got and then it got of. and then it turned and then it, and then yeah and then fans and angry people and twitter and everything grab a hold of it and it's like oh well, he's done now i guess yeah go to his it's instagram like, i saw this too yeah. uh, can i follow him on instagram yeah, he basically got on instagram he's wearing a shirt that says krypton workout team or something yeah. like that uh and he has superman he's going shh you know, and he doesn't say anything. It's like he's having fun. With and he it. said it's a great. And he said it's a great day today. Yeah. yeah. So like he's kind of having fun with it. I I don't think it's true. I hope it's not true. I think he's a great. Superman. If there if there's anything you know true, mean? to it, it's, it's I love it's, that it's man It's extremely so much. disappointing because I you know, I don't know what's going on with Ben Affleck. I, I think that he might be out as really? Batman I already. Really, well, he's in really, rehab. But right I mean, now. if you yeah, know, he's in rehab. and yeah. don't get me wrong, I, I like a lot of those mo- uh, a lot of parts of those movies. Yeah. But if if they're trying to find the problem with the DCU. It's not Henry Cavill. It's not it's the not actors. Henry Cavill's the best part of the MC uh, <laughs> yeah. the, of the DCU. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't hey, think hey. it's any of the actors. Yeah. Really, no. I think no. all the actors. Gal that's amazing. Because like, Wonder Woman is yeah. actually one of my favorite superhero movies. Yeah, yeah. it's just great. Uh, I think Ben Affleck was great as Batman. I think, I think Henry, Henry does a good job as as Superman. Yeah, like yeah. I think the Aquaman guy, uh, Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa, I think he's yeah. great. He's the man. I don't know about Ezra, but and like I said, I like Wonder Woman's great, and I love. And, and, you know, I didn't hate any of them, but like I love Man of Steel, love Wonder Woman, and I loved. Uh, we saw it in Peter's. Suicide woman. Squad. No, I actually didn't see that yet. <laughs> um, yeah, the one where they all fucking team up. Just Justice League. League. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> I like that. I thought that was pretty good. You know, I didn't think it was Infinity War. The, the Infinity War is amazing. The issue, but this is pretty good. The issue they've done is they're they've rushed it, and I, instead of trying to find new actors or doing any of that kind of stuff, I think they should work with what they have and just slow down a bit and not try to catch up with what Marvel's doing. There's no because way because the can reason catch Marvel's up. doing so well is because they didn't rush like they what established DC's doing. all these characters. Yeah. yeah, they started in 2008. It's been 10 years yeah. of Marvel setting up their cinematic universe yeah. and slowly releasing things once a year, twice a year. You know, yeah. it varies. And actually, the director of Mission Impossible, uh, the most recent one with Henry Cavill in it, like him and Henry Cavill have talked a lot about like what Henry would want in a Superman too. You know what I mean? Like a Man of Steel 2. Mm-hmm. So he, I, I, he said he's personally got like a lot of comics in mind that he would like to go there. So I don't think he is mentally done with the character yet either. Looks Which, like Warner Brothers' next focus is going to be a Supergirl movie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're just bringing a lot of stuff into it. I don't think they know what they're doing. I don't know what the hell I'd be doing, you know, because I ain't no executive. 
I know what no, I But you wouldn't be doing that. Like, you know, Shazam looks cool. Shazam looks Aquaman, cool. Aquaman looks cool. I'll see how it's going to be. You yeah. Know? I don't know if you can mess up Shazam. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah. And you exactly you can Levi's. mess up Aquaman. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it will. If it that was, looks pretty cool. If it would have been me, I feel like I would have tried to work with the CW universe and at least take something. If you're trying to try to rush it, take something that has some history already and sure. build within that. Yeah. And maybe try to make it work. I know it's, it's that whole thing of like, well, movies and TVs, yeah. and now people got to watch this. Well, good. Make them watch that. You yeah. make more money from that, too. I, I would like that. You I know, mean, but if, they, if, if there was someone saying, like, you can't do that, what would you do? It's like, just develop these characters that you yeah. got. And don't, yeah. you know. I hate that there's it, a Justice it, it, League there's movie. A, there's a Marvel dick envy in this thing, man. That's what it all all it is. Well, there's, yeah, They see is. what Marvel's doing, like, could you succeeding, imagine, and they try to jump to that. Could you imagine if they'd have made an Iron Man movie, a Captain America movie, and then did the Avengers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, no. that's what they did. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. Actually, well, no, they didn't even make a Captain America movie. You yeah. know, like, there's no Batman movie. They threw Batman. No, there's no Batman. They movie. threw there's Batman in, in the BVS thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it would have been yeah, like a that Iron Man. has the death of Superman and your introduction to Wonder Woman. It's yeah. like okay, well, like I don't know who this Batman is. Like, like I don't care, you know. Like, the introduction to Wonder Woman came before that, right? No, no. She was introduced in Batman v Superman. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then Wonder Woman came after. Oh, damn. Yeah. The, the and movie. then and yeah. then you get the Justice League where Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg are just part of it. Mm-hmm. I know and you guys have watched the get... shows, but I actually enjoyed them in it. I really did. Yeah, I do too. I think I would have enjoyed it more having known who these characters are. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I have, I mean, you know, there's parts of Justice League I, I can't believe that they're so great. Oh, yeah. You know, the Superman turn is the best That's moment a, when, yeah. that DC's done, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, but there's these moments too where it's like, the villain just sucks. I don't care who Steppenwolf is. Like, what is Steppenwolf trying to do in that movie? Oh, okay. the, trying, to put, trying to put the mother boxes together. Okay. So he can summon I his master. To do what? I think it will it will do something bad to the earth. What will it do? summon his dude. I don't know. There's that weird stuff spreading, yeah. right? Like, okay, why is he doing it? To summon his, his dude. For his master, yeah, Darkseid. Who, who is his dude? I don't know. It's, it's not Darkseid. He's talking to his, his mother. Okay. Huh? okay. His mother. I've always now, seen Now, twice. what's Thanos want? <laughs> Thanos wants to we know exactly what Thanos wants to kill do. half of all life. I don't know shit about Steppenwolf, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know shit about him. And, Why like, you know, and, and whenever, you, whenever you look up that stuff that, that, that the Zack Snyder cut supposedly had, yeah. it actually makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense in the cut we had. Yeah. And then and you have the moments where it's like, cut. all right, well, we're beaten, I guess. What's going to happen? And then you turn around and Superman's like, hey, oh, shit, we won. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. But that, yeah well, I, that was true too. Once yeah. Superman showed up, then at least give me like a down. moment of like you know, yeah. da da You know, yeah. man, none of that. Yeah. He fucking is like, all right, I've beaten all of you. Turns around, Superman's like, and he's like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. There's mo- there's just little moments like that where it's like you can see the kind of choppiness of, you know, mm-hmm. the new director having to come and step in. And, yeah. You know, I know that people didn't want to give Zack Snyder a chance after yeah. BVS, but you should have because man, he has some great stuff in there. Yeah, because he's. Like, like this is the guy who made Three Hundred, one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Man of Steel. I will, I Man of Steel is actually one of his best movies. Like, it's an art. It's like it's, he has an artistic take on it. I, I think hope we get Henry to see Cavill. It like yeah. his choice of cast. You gotta remember, he also cast Wonder Woman. He ha- he cast all these guys. Yeah. I think the you Man of Steel I mean? one was good, and I think that they did a good job with that movie as far yeah. as like the general like storyline of it and everything. But then I think they just we gotta catch up. Yeah, and that was that was their issue. Yeah, I get it. Well, hopefully, you going forward, they'll be better. You could have had Wonder Woman, a Flash, and an Aquaman film, and a Batman film, maybe, all before actually having yeah. even BBS. I mean, we got to we gotta say, the, the thing they don't have that Marvel has is Kevin Feige. Yeah. They have a guy that's like, all right, you do a movie, you do a movie, you do a movie, put this, this, and this in it, and then I'm right. going to do this movie. Yeah. And then I'm going to keep going, you know? Like, that guy knows what he's doing. He's trusting people. He's giving directors a chance to be able to come in and do some stuff. You know, not to say that there's not some bumps, you know. Yeah. They had the Ed- Edgar Wright thing with Ant-Man, and that went to Peyton Reed, you know, later and stuff like that. And you had the kind of mix-up with Edward Norton and, and stuff. But yeah. you have a guy that's in there fixing stuff and fighting for things. And, yeah. You but know. Th- you didn't lose the Hulk, yeah. you know, even though Edward Norton and all that stuff happened. They just yeah. tried to make it flow and bring it back in, and it's fine, you know. I, I, They're not going to yeah. do another Hulk movie by itself, but... From what I understand, Kevin Feige, I mean, these are all just rumors, but he's trying to do something with the whole Guardians Three situation to get uh, with the director. Yeah, to get him back. Good. James Gunn. Mm-hmm. I think he did a great. Batista job. is refusing to work with Disney. Oh, yeah. Oh really? Oh, he, he oh, is refusing. Man, because I've heard that he said. Well, right know. now, Guardians Three is 
they've taken it off of the docket and it's in limbo yep. until they can figure yeah. it out. But fucking good for Batista, man. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know? I, I can't mean, imagine someone besides him yeah. as Drax. Yeah. I wouldn't want that it. motherfucker I'm, has so much wrestling money. And well, yeah, he, he does. But like you know, it's also not like he's doing any other movies right now. Yeah. yeah. But but he does have the wrestling money. Yeah. But he's yeah. not he's not quitting. Because of money or anything, he's quitting because of yeah. Because you know he's stand by his friend, and then the yeah. entire Guardians gas came out and yeah. support. You know, yeah. yeah, like you know, yeah. Those jokes were fucking terrible jokes, but they were just jokes. You know, yeah. was, and they were also years ago. And this guy was a shock and awe director yeah. before he became a, a, a employee of Disney. You know, yeah. what did you fucking expect? I don't know. So we'll see how it comes. I hope it. it, it you know, obviously we're gonna have some stuff going on. And, the next Avengers movie mm-hmm. that's already filmed. Sure. But I, I hope we get to see that Guardians 3. Yeah. One day. Well, yeah. And sure. the way it should be seen. I just want um, Doctor Strange 2. Did you yeah. I want it so bad. Yeah. 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 Doctor Strange is so I've great. been reading Doctor Strange comics recently. There's so many good things, like so many yeah. awesome stories that mm-hmm. they could. Yeah. I, Using the, uh, the Marvel. Unlimited. Unlimited, yeah. Well, what I love, and I've Thanks seen this guys. criticism before, but I actually love the reason that. Doctor Strange goes from like a novice in his movie, and then in the next two movies he's in, he is the Sorcerer Supreme, the most one of the most powerful beings in the in the universe now. Well, it's because he has the eye. Well, he's got the eye, but it's also because whenever he was going after Dormammu, like we have no idea how long <laughs> that took. Yeah. Like I think the director or somebody said like it was like over ten thousand years. Mm-hmm. He spent ten thousand years being killed by Dormammu so many many times. That he just became better at magic in the well, meantime. Well, the other thing too that helps <laughs> he him was though, like sleeping is and that and over the course of time of him being Source of Supreme, he yeah. also has that ability of studying and reading sure. while he's sleeping. That's good. Yeah, that's, I, you know, he's got perfect that, recall. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah, he has that photographic memory and stuff. Yeah. Like he, there's, he's perfect for Source of yeah. Supreme. You know, I love it. Yep. So, him and uh, what is it? Wu. Wu. Yeah. What's his Wu, you're invited to my wedding. His psychic. He, he's in the comics, didn't he? Wong. Wong. Oh, Wong. Yeah. His name is. I think it's Wong. I think it's right, right. Is it, what's it was, I knew it was a W and O. I thought it was Wu. What's the actor's name, then? His name's Benedict something. I'm not sure. Benedict Cumberpatch? No. <laughs> so Wong. Yeah, Wong. Is. It is Wong. So Wong, Wong you're yeah. invited to my wedding. I was Wong. I'm sorry. You were Wong. <laughs> but not, not like wrong. The, <laughs> Wong. The, the comic series I'm reading now, Wong has brain cancer, yeah. and it's terminal. So he goes to another dimension to find the cure for it, and he actually ends up with the panacea to cure all diseases. Yeah. So it's a pretty cool That's thing so awesome. far. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Wong. I loved whenever. Um, yeah. <laughs> is that his name? Benedict, Benedict Wong, Wong plays Wong. Wong. Yeah. <laughs> really? yeah, that's cool. Yeah, um, but no, I love. Uh, I love in the Spider-Man the '90s animated series whenever Doctor Strange showed up and they were working with him to stop Dormammu and like Venom I think was involved with it mm-hmm. and stuff too yeah. and I, I just love the crossover stuff of all that stuff. I can't wait more of the Marvel Cinematic Universe doing more. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I wonder. I wonder how much Venom will factor into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, they keep saying it's not part of that universe, yeah. but if I kind of don't care. If it does well, I don't know what they'll do. I'm curious on what they're gonna do with it because, like Eddie, Eddie Brock, Brock everything I know about him, like, you know, it, it gets the spiders, it gets on Spider Man, and then uses that to make like a spider power base thing of Venom. And then gets on Eddie Brock, who has anger against Peter Parker, and it has this kind of vicious cycle. But Venom, like, it, it's kind of separate from that. So if you don't have Peter Parker and you don't have Spider-Man involved in it, like, what is the story of Venom in this movie? I mean, right now, there's no Spider-Man to be involved, you know? Like, the, the next movie for Spider-Man is Far From Home, so I mean, he might not even be in New York for a long time, you know? Yeah. So maybe, maybe Venom just... Does something, and I mean, you know, and then Spider Man can meet up with him later. Yeah, okay. like, I just wonder, like, like Spider Man didn't go after Vulture because he had a personal thing with Vulture. It just kind of turned out that way in the end, right? Like they don't need to have a relationship in order to well, have no, to no. go. I, I know. I'm not saying that they have to have it. I'm just curious. Like Venom's power base, I think, stemmed from being on Peter Parker first. Oh, I yeah. you know. And then like, that's why he's so similar to Spider Man. Yeah. So yeah. I'm curious on what, like, is he going to be similar at all, or is he going to be a very carnagey? kind mm-hmm. of Venom, you know what I mean? Like, not really, like, web shootery. The, the trailers show very, like, yeah. stuff flying off him, but not like he's web-slinging. Yeah. There's a bunch of symbionts, aren't there? Aren't there like, six or something like that? Um, that is more than just... There's, I mean, there's, there's... I know Venom. There's Venom, and then there's, like, another version of Venom that's, yeah. like, a Flash... Uh, Thompson? Like, oh, well, version? Yeah. I, forget, yeah. I don't oh, think yeah. he's called he does get Venom. It, yeah. he's called, I think he's got a different name or something. Like Agent Venom or something? Something. I don't, I don't remember what He was called. in the Guardians of the Galaxy at one point. 
But yeah, I mean, there's that, <laughs> and there's Venom, and there's Carnage, and then I'm yeah. sure there's other symbiotes yeah. too. Uh, so there's Venom, Carnage, Toxin, mm-hmm. Anti Venom, <laughs> which is the Flash taunts. Um, okay, that's the Flash Thompson one. Yeah, and then there's a whole bunch of supporting character yeah. ones as well. Okay. Um, well, this is some pretty cool news. Uh, Alan Wake is apparently coming to television. The TV? Sh- I mean, Alan Wake, like the game? The, yep. The game from a live-action series based on the atmospheric adventure horror game Don't is in the works with oh. showrunner Peter oh. Calloway. Run to the door. Hang on. Oh. Cal- Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Rick, what? Uh, so Alan Wake is coming to a live-action television series. Um, in the works with showrunner Peter Calloway, who is the showrunner of Cloak and Dagger and Legion, at the helm. Oh wow, yeah. Legion! I heard Cloak and Dagger was was good. Mm-hmm. It was like yeah. eight episodes and done really well. Okay. Well, did you guys play Alan Wake? Yeah, I, I played the first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I have my my 360 and I played like half of it and something happened. I didn't get to finish it. But I loved it. Dude. It was a fun story. Yeah, like yeah, this like quote it. here says, Alan Wake was basically a TV series that was put into a game, so they think that it'll fit perfectly as a TV series. Yeah, so. I think they could do really well making that into a TV show. Yeah. The story of Alan Wake was done really well. It's very, it was very mysterious, you know? Like, yeah, well, what I played, it was kind of scary, too, man. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. it was, like, t- definitely tense. You're out there looking for your wife, which is always a classic story. Yeah, uh, but, yeah. like, you're going through this weird, like, what's real, what's not kind of thing in the whole game. Mm-hmm. So having that in a TV show mm-hmm. with, wait, you said the director from Legion? Uh, he's the showrunner. He's the showrunner? That probably would fit, oh, that would probably fit really well. Given that Legion, half the time we spend what's real, what's not in it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So Alan Wake, I think, fits perfectly with it. I got a cup. Okay. These, these two are for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me that, Eric. Does Rick need a cup? Yeah, Rick needs a cup. No, I'm okay. Okay. <clears throat> hey, yeah, who's in the treat stream? Excited about that. Uh, I'll look it up. Uh, are there any other video games that you guys think would make good TV series especially like we talk a lot about video games in the movies Mario but Brothers a- as a TV series yeah. Sonic I don't know really um, Ker- Kirby Kirby yeah. well, Nintendo- what else has there already been um- <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo has like done animated shorts of these things and sometimes they when they're done like like for instance like right now um, I know this is a movie not a TV series but Atoya was the, sent the, the thing oh Atoya was thank you so much do uh, I was. And I, like, the, the people who the guys who did Minions are doing the Mario movie, really? Which like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I can definitely that. see that, you know. Hmm. Um, uh, Illumination, Illumination, Sorry. Minions. Oh, I, yeah, that's I the company. The, yeah. Is that is is, is that who? Hmm. Uh, like uh, B Parks and Chat says, uh, Gears of War could be a cool TV show. Oh, yeah. I love Gears of War. I love the Gears of War universe. Uncharted. Unchar- well, yeah, definitely. I, I don't know if it would be a good TV show or a good movie or what, but I, I, I think it worked better. I wanted to have a movie's budget. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Like some of the ble- beautiful places and stuff. That's the thing. Like, some of these you could be like, oh, I'll make a good show, but <laughs> maybe a low budget TV show may not be the best. I would love to maybe, see maybe a new a- Mega Man show. I loved that cartoon when I was a kid. That'd be cool. And now, that could be amazing. Maybe Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is a TV show? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. That's the like, thing. Some of like, those... maybe you go through the Animus. Like, okay, there's a show I like to watch called Timeless. Uh, maybe, like, you're going back to Animus, and every episode you're, like, you're, you're going to a different time period. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, maybe, like, L.A. Noir. Hmm. That's just like every fucking show that's on TV. Would now. it be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, John Noble's in that game. And he's also in Fringe, so you should just watch Fringe, and you can you can get that pretty much like that. Yeah. Oh, is, that how, is that how we it works? We should watch Fringe. Yeah. How did you do that? Dead Space would be a good movie, I think, more than a TV show. I watched yeah. the animated ones. If you yeah. Could, you could animate most of these and make good shows and stuff out of them. I think. Um, you know, I think would be a good TV show. Harry Potter. What? What? Yeah. You do an entire year, a season for each year in the school. Like Community. <laughs> Yeah. But they just keep going? They keep going, yeah, Like sure. Women's World. <laughs> like <laughs> One Tree Hill. I love One Tree Hill. <laughs> My guilty pleasure. You have all the good shit that was cut out, you know? Yeah, yeah. I would like them to do, if they were going to do something like that, do like after the after school where they what become about? R's and stuff like that. Be There's fun. a show on now that people like. I've never watched it. Uh, Magicians? So, Magicians. Oh, that was good. I watched the first watched couple it. episodes. It's okay. It's very Mike. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it's very, very. It's Harry Potter, and like a model school, like a school where models go. You know. Yeah. To it's learn how to sexy. model. 
like low elementary. Sure. <laughs> Dude, I like that. Hitman. Can you imagine Hitman being a, a TV show? Yeah. And he has to kill someone different every episode? Yeah, yeah that would be cool. It'd that be just cool. like The Pretender, but with death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Aladdin? What? what? It's Aladdin TV it show? It is a TV show. Star Fox. Dude, I love that. Make an animated show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a lot cool? of fun. That'd be great. Star Fox would be cool. I would watch that. The fight combat and stuff, or in a tank, or whatever. Like, Falco's like Raphael, man. You know. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. Right, I'm gonna show some pictures of memes here while you guys are eating, and some videos and things that Alrighty. were sent uh, our Discord. We have a channel on there for podcast suggestions. Any more Cobb? Yes, actually, there is. Ah, uh, Cobb! Oh, boy. So, this is especially good today. Yes, it is. I saw this. I, I don't understand it, I don't know. but I saw it, so I thought I'd show it. I think it's the UN, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. God help us. Uh, oh, sorry. Fringe! <gasps> 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 it was the 10th year anniversary, I think? Yeah, it was the 10th year anniversary yeah. of Fringe. Ooh. We should have just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Should have done. Um, we've got this one here. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw a couple of those. Mm -hmm. right, then sorry. in addition to that, we have another... Sassy picture launches chaos in Ohio town. Today, Marietta PD issued a statement asking the population of Marietta and close by towns to be careful and vigilant. The warning comes after a picture of Marietta native Eric Whiteley has been released on Discord showing one of the sexiest poses ever. <laughs> Laundromats have been flooded with people w washing their underwear oh, with urgency immediately after seeing it. What? One such person who says to remain anon anonymous and will be named Rick Martin for privacy reasons <laughs> has stated, man, I just went on Discord and slam. There it was. I just started feeling flushed. My mouth dried. So much lust, so much sexiness. Then I felt my crotch moist. The mayor of Marietta has issued an order for, por for portable showers to be installed over the town, <laughs> but only with cold water and asked people to stay away from Discord for some time. He then walked into one of the portable showers and stayed there for an uncomfortable period of time. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Even though he's not mayor anymore, I just think about being mayor. <laughs> hey, uh, who's it now? Um, Joe Matthews. Matthews. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, Rick, mm -hmm. uh, someone, it was uh, Scott from Scotland, said, Shane, you never showed that video of the guy in court who said that woman had a thick ass. Oh. Remember we talked about Calvin didn't see it? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. We gotta, we gotta bring it up. So I'll, what? I'll bring that up as Make well. Make sure it's the right version before you put it up there. It's, a, it's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to say that, but yeah. That's what we said last time. Right? It yeah. is what you said last time. Alright. What's the matter, Shane? Was that too spoily? No, not to uh, me. Is this the one? Is that the one? <laughs> Where's my mouse? <coughs> now we're just eating in silence. Yeah, sorry. You've interrupted all this. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, turn it up. Can, oh, wow. Can you turn it up any? Yeah. Okay, good. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man. I love the I love the, his reaction is like but she was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, great. that did happen. But <laughs> all right, I want to show this as well. I don't I don't think it's my hero spoilers. I hope not. Um but it is pretty amazing. Oh, I'm well, afraid that I barely have a minute left in this form. My power's declining faster than I thought it would. I've seen this. This is great. It's Wait, like, look like at Captain Falcon. Oh. That is Captain Falcon. Even so, I have to stop these villains. Heads up, we're fighting after all. Oh my gosh, this is the... Because I am... The world's symbol of... And justice! <laughs> <laughs> no move! Too loud, is it good? What? Are you listening? One of his powers is shock absorption. 
<laughs> Meta Knight, is that guy? Yeah. <laughs> yes! He's Midori? Yeah. <laughs> So good. It's a shot for shot remake. Fantastic. I so love fan good. animations that take those models and can <sighs> really run with them. Like, I, I forgot how awesome that <laughs> <Yeah>. was <laughs> because of a recent plus ultra moment that we had. It yeah. kind of like erased that one from my mind for whatever reason. So that good. one is so good. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. It's so good stuff. I've watched it so many times on YouTube. I've watched the, uh, the original Japanese mm -hmm. version of it, you know. I still, you know, because I've watched this one first, like, I got a the nostalgia factor is there for me now, yeah. you know. But... <laughs> All right, so anyone else crying right now? <laughs> uh, I am. So yeah, good. I was. All right, so I've got, I've got the new thing from Cobb here. Okay. Uh, this is a compilation of Aaron, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Yeah, but they were like, I was fucking kicking ass. Stir it up. Okay. For the second game. Aaron won the first one somehow. I did, but I got a picture. And Gus, yeah, 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 we all have low scores, actually. And he took the picture. Hey. <laughs> it's good. That thing, it's not taking a picture. It's good for one position. Now everyone will know I'm the guy. It's kind of funny because like Don is the intellectual. I'm, you know, I'm always right. Aaron is the opposite. I'm never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, well, Aaron, like, because I actually get a look at her knees. Aaron's like, hey, look at his fucking peak. He's not, he's not happy. I had a flashlight. Look, look at it. They're like, is he in there? Yeah, it, it was like it was in a jail cell and it was biting at the bar. All right. Probably just cash. I was like, hey, I can't see it. Next question. <laughs> 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 that was too small. <laughs> that was too small. <laughs> it's gaping huge. I couldn't even tell it was in there. <laughs> I thought it might be related to that 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 saying about the pushing. <laughs> My passion for the passion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And I sent him on my thing, I was like, hey, I thinking of you, hope you're having a good day, I thought I'd send you a dick pic. And the next picture was Dick Van Dyke from he, Mary he Poppins. Switched, he switches from her, no, her point of view. I'm mean, so damn hey, proud he went to show to each of us. I, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I showed everybody. Hey, hey, I showed every I single one. Eric, you're in the room now. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not even here. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. It's me. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. I could definitely watch more of those more than any of the other ones about it. Yeah, that's, that's a that's point zero one percent. I know. Of the impressions of Aaron, oh, we did of Aaron. I mean, it's not yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just the ones from this month. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but that's from our buddy Cobb, that's who just always the ones makes his amazing What's videos. What's worse is when I impersonate myself, which is just me impersonating you impersonating me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, but now you're starting to talk like that. <laughs> because. All right, good stuff. This is good. Uh, so Rick and Morty, which is a show I haven't seen, but I know you guys have and yep. love. Great. Apparently mm-hmm. won an Emmy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, recently, in particular for the Pickle Rick episode, Rick. which uh-huh. people scream at me a lot, and I don't understand. Sure, but it's won an Emmy now, so it's, uh, it must be good. I mean, it's it's become a little bit victim to the to the <laughs> to the meme to the, to the meme and the fandom, you know that that thing. So sometimes people don't love it, but when we watched it the first time, I I just I couldn't believe it was great what we were watching. Yeah, it, it is so damn creative and yeah. and crazy and yeah. psychotic and. And uh, it challenged everything about I knew about myself. <laughs> it was so crazy. Challenged but what I expected the show to be. This like. is all. It won an Emmy for outstanding Benjamin animated Pepper. program. I believe. Yeah, it. yeah. that's, it's, that's it's awesome. awesome. Good it's for been, them. It's been deserving of one for a while. <coughs> oh, that's a flaccid pepper, Shane. Very flaccid, and that the juice of a full pepper. I've been doing it. I poured out like a gallon. Ugh. Now there's also some bad news for us. Uh, on September 12th, 751 members of the European Parliament mm-hmm. will vote on a directive that could result in a major cultural shift on YouTube. Um, basically, oh. it's uh, the, U- the EU copyright directive proposal yeah. to instill far more aggressive protection for rights holders on platform hosting services such as YouTube. So basically, the content will run through a more aggressive filter than YouTube's content, forcing platforms like YouTube to take measures to ensure the functioning of agreements concluded within the right holder's use of their own work. When is this? It's it's a uh, law being passed uh, in the EU. What are they voting on for it? They're voting. It's a copyright law. They're just going to be more stringent with, uh, you know, yeah, platforms we, that are using. But when again? The thirteenth. Well, it's already passed. Yeah, yeah, it would have been yesterday. Today or, or, yeah. Did it pass? Well, it, they were having pretty a meeting. Sure. It, it did pass. Did it pass? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it passed. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, whenever something like this, I mean, this is why we brought on Rick and developed our website, where if anything like that is ever coming up, we we're able to either mirror slash host a reaction on our website. Yeah. You know, because YouTube, I I get why YouTube does the things it does. I don't necessarily agree with all the things that it does, but they got to protect themselves. They have. 10 years of, of content going up every day, you know, they, they just can't possibly do it all know, manually. Do a, a filter that's going to do anybody any justice. So they, it, it, unfortunately, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, guilty until proven innocent. It's the reason why you know? any, like, any website, you know, you have Rooster Teeth or like Screw Tech yeah. before then or whatever, like, they would have stuff on YouTube mainly for convenience of people looking. Sure, you or want the, or people throw out, to see. Basically throw out that net so that when people are just searching YouTube, they might yeah. find it. But then the the website itself eventually is like what has and yeah. houses all their stuff and everything that's going on. And yeah. So you have the control, right? Depending on how YouTube, yeah. Depending on how YouTube goes, I mean, yeah. that way may be the thing that we need to do, maybe sooner rather than later, because maybe YouTube's going to be striking mm-hmm. more stuff more frequently. Yeah. But we can still continue doing content that we want to do, and then it forces them to have to come through us rather than like now we have a middleman of YouTube doing right. stuff. Sure. Well, and not even YouTube, but the YouTube bots. Yeah. So like then, it, yeah, then when you're trying to solve a copyright problem, you're just going through this method of never really getting any answers. Sure. At least if if yeah. we there's if no we way have, to know like what you did wrong. Yeah. Or if we have you know uh, an animated you know anime thing on our site, they're gonna have to send us a cease and desist or something. Yeah. And then hopefully then we at least get that conversation. You get that conversation. Rather See, than yeah. YouTube just being like, hey, you're out. The, the thing about this is that it, it's actually especially for for. Uh, some of the British shows that we're watching. It's extremely, it's common that we get a, a match. It's extremely rare that we don't get it successfully disputed yeah. and they don't approve it. It's actually pretty rare that that happens. Um, but this is just a matter of like, there's a lot of people that are just straight up uploading episodes of, of Doctor Who, yeah. let's yeah. say. They just upload them and sure. then YouTube just takes them down every hour. You know? And then, uh, 
was always the same. I mean, ideally, Take what you would want it is like, okay, this channel has been like caught a hundred times, but a sure. hundred of those times have been okayed. So maybe now we some kind of whitelist. Yeah, yeah, we whitelist them or we give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I mean, they just you know they're trying to cover a lot of stuff, and unfortunately, sometimes we get caught on that, and it, a video would go down. If I can dispute it. Um, usually I'll go right back up. Sometimes when I dispute it, it doesn't. And we got to do other things like mirror on the website for a time or wait for it to come back up. It, it, it can be a real big headache with the stuff that we do. But I would say 99% of the, the people that we actually get to, to have any kind of contact with and, and any kind of uh, dispute negotiation are pretty cool with it, you know? Yeah, well, there was... Um, Discord was talking about stuff the other t- mm-hmm. the other day on things, and they were talking about like contacting and getting the permission and everything. And we've talked with some and gotten like at least some kind of statement from them of what they would okay with. Yeah. yeah. But then we also had um, it was Shannara Chronicles. I put a post in Discord. Yeah, that was a shit show. <laughs> Shannara Chronicles had sent us a thing, a press kit for their first like four episodes. Yeah, they mm-hmm. yeah. And, and it was and cool. We were, it was and it really was like, cool okay, too. yeah, sure. Like, you know, we want you to do what you guys do, you know, review these and, mm-hmm. you know, discuss it and do all that stuff. And it was like, okay. And I talked, I had emailed with like their marketing person about what they were wanting. And we did the pilot, which was a two hour episode. Yeah. And we did it. And once we had it up on YouTube, it was up there for a little bit. And then it got taken down. And yeah. It, it, I think it, I can't remember if it gave us a strike or if they just took it down or what it was. But I emailed my contact and talked to them. And they said, oh, well, you know, it shouldn't have happened. I was like, well, if you guys can just get it unblocked, you know, we can take it down or edit it or whatever if you guys need something else. And they're like, well, let me get a hold of our piracy department or our... Anti-piracy. Whatever, yeah. whatever the other department was. Yeah. And they put it in an email, and then it went back and forth for a while, and then it died, and we never got a resolution. Yep. So we didn't do Shannara Chronicles. It's, it's a big problem, too, because a lot of other... A lot of these production houses will actually hire different companies to be able to go up and do this kind of stuff with YouTube, too. So even though the company itself is like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we want. We want that to happen. Another company will be like, well, you can't do this, though, you know? Yeah. And then we dispute it, and then it has to become this process where it's like, all right, motherfucker, sue me. You won't, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So there's been a couple times where I've pushed it that far, you know? Yeah, someone just said WB's own copyright management company issued copyright claim against WB main website. Yep. Sure. It, it, it's That's one of those things where it's like, you know, so each dumb. company that has these channels, they have a TV show. Let's say Arrow. Let's say WB with Arrow, right? Yep. They have a, a, a an option in the in this algorithm where they put up their entire episode. Yep. And then that's then scanned, filtered, and then it's searched for in other parts of YouTube. And let's say they find it on ours, you know, it'll just automatically get taken down. And then I have to dispute it, it'll come back up, then they review it. But if I'm asleep for 10 hours or something, I'm not going to see it for, for a while. And now that video is down. And 10 we might, hours? Sometimes I sleep like two hours, one night, and 10 hours. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, let's say there's 10 hours before I, I see that it's down, you know. So Usually I get it pretty Maybe quick. Maybe you're out on a farm and you don't have internet. Usually I get it pretty quick, but yeah. there's been, because, you know, Discord or Twitter is pretty good about yeah. uh, letting us know when something like that happens. It, it is kind of, like, it, it's, just, it's, it's, it's frustrating and not the way you want to do it, which is why I like to be, you know, I like to be able to have our website as a backup. Yeah. And we've been going the growing, growing pans with that, but it's been been really good yeah that. And well I, as we continue to grow that and stuff i mean maybe at some point it might be like hey you <laughs> hey, oh, you watch blind wave you go to the blind wave website and that's mm-hmm. where our content is because maybe youtube has so many changes that it's not yeah it's not viable anymore to be able to sure. do the stuff we do so uh and that's that always kind of go ahead jancy's in chat she said i just got here are they talking shit about warner brothers <laughs> <laughs> we were earlier <laughs> <laughs> yeah with henry cavill yeah. um it, 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 that's always in the back of my mind this scary feeling like, you know, that, like, what if they completely, like, we're not allowed to, to do what we do. You know what I mean? Or, like, all our shit that we did before gets taken down or something. Mm-hmm. And that's why we also do original content, and I want to grow that also and do our own stuff. That, so we don't rely 100% or hopefully maybe in the future not even 50% on just other people's TV shows and movies, you know? Okay. All right, so we are coming up fairly close to the end here. If anyone in chat has any questions that they would like to hit us up with, go ahead oh. and feel free. Some I'm questions. Go ahead and get 
um, our donations up as well. I'm sure there's some Jizzle slaps dupes. and whatnot. What the hell's Jizzle Dupes? <laughs> is that one of the questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> they're not, they're, they're one, though, if we're going to react to the direct. Probably not. I'm definitely going to watch it at home. So someone in um, our Discord did put this picture up and ask which team you would go with. It's kind of blurry. Oops. Uh, I like that team. It's a good, oh, okay. Let's do that. Um, so the top one is Black Panther, Iron Man, Black Widow, Vision, Spider-Man, War Machine. Second team is Falcon, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Winter Soldier. And the then top. you've got Hulk, Thor, the Valkyrie, whose name I can't remember. Valkyrie. And... Um, Loki. Loki. Oh, and then another one. The bottom one is Colossus, Colossus Deadpool, Deadpool Cable. Cable, Domino, and three people I can't <laughs> remember. Domino, the, the, the taxi kid driver the taxi guy, driver. Uh, and then the kid I'm going to go wallet. with uh, the Hulk Thor team. Yeah. That's the same one I would go with. I'm going to say well. the top team. I, yeah, I was going to say I, I, got, I got Spider Man and I got, I got Black Widow. Vi- Vision? <laughs> In a Good. fight against each other. Oh, I'm going to. What? They're all fighting fight. each other. Who wins? Oh, uh. Like, which team wins in a fight? That team didn't even... I mean, it has Hulk and Thor. Yeah. Hulk, Thor, and Loki, the the (laughs) god of tricksters. And Valkyrie. Okay, so they're all fighting. If they're all fighting, there's... I'm almost saying no question. They have a Hulk. I mean, that second team definitely doesn't... I mean, Scarlet Witch is pretty powerful. I mean, if you were to go with, like, hey, which team is going to be your buddies, I might go with that second team. Team (laughs) two. Hands down. (laughs) Top team. That's that's some fucking loyalty, right? Redhead. No, I'm going top team. I can't. I can't. Gotcha. But it's the third team. Spider-Man, and anybody dude. says differently. I gotta wrong. help my boy Spider-Man. I gotta. I gotta help out. Gotta Spider-Man, help out Iron Black Man, Widow. I, I Vision yeah. against Thor and Hulk. Vision. Yeah, Scarlet or uh, Black Widow is the one who calms down the Hulk. Now yeah, you, but only when he wants to be calmed down. To death. Uh, there's a good question on here from the skinny nerd. Would you and, rather... go back to that picture a second? He ain't got no hammer or nothing there. So. Fuck Thor. <laughs> okay. That's the whole thing. Remember, he learns he doesn't need the hammer. Oh, yeah. man. He ain't, he ain't learned enough yet. And then he does. Okay. <laughs> Would you guys rather be blood eagled or keel hauled? Oh, I saw that, and I intentionally avoided yeah. it, Shane. This is why I handle nope. the questions. That's, that's a great question. No, it's a terrible question. There's <sighs> two terrible things. Blood eagled. Can I just die? Can I just kill myself? I just punch myself in the neck till I die? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just not get in that situation where that's happened to me. How about, yeah, how about you just get caught? <laughs> we'll get caught doing what? They're going to run you down, and like, you're the one, the slow one. Yeah, just, but they do. We're going to bloody go one of these motherfuckers. Why? And why, why? And we all run, and you're like, ah! <laughs> you get caught. They'd be bloody yelling wrong, because it's, it's, it's reserved for someone that deserves it. Uh, it's, <laughs> Eric's it's, like, it's, how, about, how about we don't do that? Eric's yeah. like, just like, all right, guys, <laughs> bad idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't answer that. Probably bloody gold. I, I don't want either Then either why did you ask it, Shane? I don't want either one. Let's skip it. I want to ask. Yep, I want to ask the big questions. So um, there's a good thing here for like <laughs> fan casting. Um, David Batista said his dream role was Marcus from Gears of War. Ooh. I think Ooh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Who? From who? Yes, Marcus Tracks. from Gears of War. Being Marcus. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know Gears of War, so I don't know. I, kn- I know the character a little bit. Yeah. I know the art. I've only seen Absolutely. the Mad World trailer. <laughs> could the Rock be Marcus? No. No, no he could be. Uh, he could be one of the guys on one of the gears, though. I think <laughs> he's just some other guy. Metal <laughs> Gear. No, there's him. There's Baird. There's. Uh, it's like Doom, Dom. where like he's not the main there's character, Dom. but he's the main character. <laughs> there's Dom and the other guy. <laughs> uh, someone in chat's asking, "What's Keyhold?" Oh, well, I can tell that you're not up to date on our Black Sails reactions. You should watch Black Sails. <laughs> you will learn. Yep. Yep. Uh, we should be a or patron. patron you'll they, find uh, out. If you're there a patron, too? you'll find out. Uh, someone asked if we're watching the Predator movie. I, th- I think we are, right? We decided that? I don't know. We, we hope to. I want to see it. Watch we are optimistic. Movie. Maybe. Uh, Whiffendor asked if Eric will ever do any more Let's Plays on the Twitch channel. I, yeah, I'd like to. In but October, we're going to be doing horror games. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should stream and Aaron's, that. Aaron's streaming it. You should stream that as well. I right, stream yeah. two you of them should, at the same. You guys should have done a race. You guys talked about doing races. Yeah. You should have raced the game. Dude, we would have taken forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched him play Zelda. Like, he, he did everything he could in Zelda. Yeah, I'd do everything I, I can. can't imagine him playing Spider-Man being any different. I was like, all right, time to go take out the Divine Beast. Ooh, there's a column over here. I wonder what part of history this was in, in high rule. I fucking take pictures and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like pictures with your cell phone of the TV screen. <laughs> it's like, I want this for home. <laughs> 
Spider-Man's got me like I'll be going for on a mission, like going to a mission, and they'll be like, "Spider-Man, there's a there's a bus full of of people that terrorists are coming." I can't ignore that. I know it's just a random encounter that I could ignore and it wouldn't affect my game at all. But I can't stop. You know, I can't not do it. I was told that in Spider-Man, uh, a guy went through a process of getting a proposal for his girlfriend to marry to marry him. Did you hear about this? Put into, Shane? Put no. into the game. You hear what I just say? No. <laughs> you know what I just said? You ain't paying attention. A guy went through the uh, a process of getting a proposal into the Spider-Man game. Oh, I heard about that. To he propose for his yeah, girlfriend, broke up. right? I did hear about that. And apparently the girlfriend broke up with him a few days or weeks before the game came out. Yeah. For his brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my. Yeah, I saw I that. And they, and they offered to uh, take him out of the game and stuff. Yeah, he, said, he said leave it up in case another person that wants to marry a Maddie <laughs> could use it. <laughs> I want to find it. Jeez. Maddie, like, the proposal. Yeah. To see how Maddie. good it was. Like, I'm curious. I need yeah, to it's, it it's on a theater marquee. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got some other questions It's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, that's such a big ass world game. Can you imagine just like, gosh, let's go over there. You know what I mean? Yeah, can you imagine him being like, oh, wow. Hey, Maddie, look at this. Like, what? Like, look at me. Just, oh, wow. Look at that that thing there. And just close by. Yeah. Dude, what are, what are like, family get-togethers like for someone that's left one person one and went with their sibling? You yeah, know? I think the sibling. It's rough for a few insane. years. That's, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I think they just I don't can't see even each imagine the first parent dies. Yeah. I can't even imagine that because I don't have a brother. Yeah, I get, I get <laughs> that's just sad. I, don't, I can't imagine that because because they just leave me, have a brother, and go somewhere else. And, you, <laughs> and they went with your sister. Leave you to go to someone who went to what school. What about that, Calvin? Now what? Imagine that. I was gonna say, one. what if they like become a lesbian or something? <laughs> Maybe there's only one chance of that <laughs> happening. So I've liked, I've so liked, <laughs> <of> they, <laughs> they became a lesbian. <laughs> I've liked a lot of lesbians in my life, <laughs> or bisexual girls. Yeah, and they haven't liked you. I mean, I, no, no, no I, well, well, no, not really. Yeah, yeah. one I, maybe, but I, 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 suppose, I couldn't pull the trigger. I suppose that I have a very like close knit family. I love being a man so much when very, I have these manly qualities. I love it. Maybe if they weren't very close knit or something like that, I guess yeah. I could see. Yeah, it. yeah. Wait, aren't, aren't there ones where like, like a, a, a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever gets with like a parent or vice versa, like a parent's dating and then they get with like the son or something? Oh, oh, you mean like a. a what if a girl leaves one twin for the other twin? Not a porno See, I you know. watch. I feel like I feel like, <laughs> I, feel like a, I, I mean, mean, like what would you trading be, for? I don't you know. know. What I mean? Twins could it's, be. It's got to be the personality. The like, twins. I love how they look. Oh yeah. But their personality doesn't fit. That one does. I'm going that. They sure. got to be you know? pretty similar. The brothers. They grew up the same way, the same time, unless they're separated at birth. I don't know. On Vampirina, there were these people that were attached by the head, and they were completely different. In Orin Host Club, they weren't all that similar. Yeah, I, just, I, don't, I don't know very many of those. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Siblings. See, my brother's they're, like. They're not similar normally. Yeah, my, my brother and sister are so much older than me. So. I'm just, like, my sisters are like, completely different from me. Imagine hey, like your ways. sister's a little bit like you in some ways. <coughs> in, in some ways, but I said in a lot of ways. In the bad ways. Very different. She, <laughs> in the bad ways. Because I go, I go downstairs, I see all these. Fucking grubs doing stuff. I look at him like, look at all these grubs <laughs> here. They're building shit. And they're like, like little dwarves of Snow White just doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the elves. That's in the bad sh- ways. <laughs> no, no. I'm not gonna get on get in on it here. Right. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you're liking some she ways. Said. You're liking some ways. Did you? Were you saying something? No, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, a question. What's the moment you felt most alive? Oh. January 18th, 2008. 2008? No, 2009. Your birthday? Yep. 2009. Yep. Did you kiss your first girl then? No, it was nine months before Leon. (laughs) (laughs) How do you know you felt most alive then? Was it the first time you came in a girl or something? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I get it, man. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing better than that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> just, whew, man. Like, I've been just wasting this for years. You know what I mean? I've <laughs> 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 just been like fucking condoms and well, socks. I remember, yeah. like, <laughs> I remember using a condom the first time I had sex, thinking, man, this isn't that good. You know what I mean? And then I took it off, and I was like, gee, this is like night and day, brother. What the hell was I doing? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I just can't imagine using one. You know what I mean? You're being a bad role model for those in chat chain. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a virgin, actually. 
with three children. Yeah. Uh, anyone else have a most alive moment? <coughs> um, it's tough. Yeah, I mean, I, there's so many, right? Probably the times I've been closest to death. You know what I mean? Like after. Yeah. Like after you survive a close death call? I mean, sometimes they're just moments of, you know, sub, you know, just extreme happiness. Yeah, you know I mean, and sometimes I'm not like I'm just talking to someone. We're having a great conversation. And it sounds real stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know I not sound like an idiot, <clears throat> but uh, let me think. You got you go, Eric. I'm gonna think some more. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I know. don't know if it's when I feel most alive, but like, I get sort of a life flashing before <clears throat> my eyes moment whenever I go on a swing set. Of kind of like swing set, Jesus. Settle down. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you fucking wild animal, you. <laughs> like, so, like sometimes... It's a motion that not, you haven't... Yeah, Yeah, not so much anymore, but like Evie would be on my lap or whatever, and I'd be swinging. And I'm, just all these memories oh, yeah. okay. sort of come flooding back, you know, that I would normally never ever think of. Yeah, but like every time you get on a swing set, you remember every other time that you've been on a swing set. Kind of, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. I thought you were going to talk about... I'm, I'm kind of the same way with that. I thought you were going to talk about when you're swinging and you get real high <laughs> and you jump off. We are you feel alive like a motherfucker when you do that. I remember one time your sister bloodied... I want to say it was Brandon, say. Brandon Harshbarger's face. And you yeah. felt alive because of that? <laughs> Something happened. I don't remember what. And she, I think, I think my sister threw a rock at him. He was coming down on the swing. Oh, no. And it hit him, like, right here. And he was, he yeah. knocked him off like, backwards, and he fell, and he was bleeding. Very closely blinded him in one eye. Yeah. That guy's kind of a douche. <laughs> so you're saying he deserved it. No. He, he, <laughs> well, sometimes. Okay. Now you're here, and he's there. He, 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 he's... I met him. I haven't seen him in a long time, but sometimes he could be a, be a bit of a douche. Yeah. But I don't know what happened and why it happened. I know one time they were on the swings and it broke. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Like it was one of the, the pipe, like swing set in the middle section of it. These, there was like three girls swinging on it and it went <laughs> and fell down. <laughs> and landed on like, was my sister one of them? I think my sister was one of them. Landed like on her on her foot or like her leg. And it would have been for the gravel and stuff like that she could have sunk into. Like, it might have, like, broke it if, if it had no give. Yeah. But, like, they all fell, and that pipe was falling down on them and stuff. Yeah. Um, we came from a crappy little... <laughs> <laughs> Warren. <laughs> I have to really think about it. I think I can answer in great detail, yeah. detail but I'm trying to come up, you know. It's uh, a tough question. It's tough, but I got, this sounds real stupid. Like, real stupid. I know it does. But when we were playing Smash Brothers at E3, when I won that thing, I felt pretty alive, I have to say. Yeah. You turned and... and and motion at a crowd that wasn't paying <laughs> that wasn't uh, cheering. It's <laughs> a great, great ceremony, and there was none. You know, Aaron's like, no one's clapping. No one's clapping. No one's clapping. No one's clapping. I went to Gus. He's like, he, Shane. I went to Gus. He's like, Shane. I wanted you to lose so badly. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know. Like playing Smash Brothers with you guys. I know it sounds real stupid, but like, like, day to day, that's when I feel most alive. Like, can I feel like absolute control over this avatar? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and I, it's like a one to one, for, to, almost to me. You know what I mean? When I lose, normally I feel like it's 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 my fault or something that's out of my control. And when I win, it I, I normally feel like it's because I was able to seal the deal normally. Or it was out of your control. Yeah. I, I normally don't feel like I won because out of my control. Like when you kill yourself, like oh, God damn it, you you're you're fucking me here. Like you're robbing me of of a, of a real victory. You know what I mean? So like Smash Brothers, I don't know. But yeah, like that particular game, I feel real alive. And like music. Like, when I'm at concerts, oh, yeah. like, I know this is, you know, because of tone. Third Eye Blind? We, we, oh, you shit. know, just because of tone. That was great. And who, yeah, who's our friend, awesome. and you guys, you know, obviously you know who he is. But we had a Third Eye Blind concert, which I've seen these guys four times. I, I'd never seen any concert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was my first concert as well. And, uh, man, I, I felt... saw video games live. I felt so alive yeah, just hearing... Yeah, that's insane. That's an orchestra. You Third know, and, and the sound was great, because they, they went to OU, like, in 2014. I went there with some friends, and it was in this shitty auditorium. It was echoing real bad. It was the worst... I, it was so bad that I was like, man, why did I pay money for this? But uh, the one uh, we went to that concert with me, Joy, you, Mountie, and Calvin, and you fucking no one, uh, that was just a fun time. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I felt really alive. They listened to like, this, this band that I love, with yeah. people that I love. Yeah, they went through that whole album. The whole album. Yeah. The whole Blind album. Yeah. It was just, you know, wind blown to my hair, dude. It was great. Loved it. Someone said, Shane, you didn't feel alive when you jumped out the window. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, he, he felt dead. <laughs> Scott from Scotland. I'll tell you what, I felt like, I don't know what I felt. I felt like I got to get out of here or I'm going to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? I jumped out the window and limped off. That's how I felt at the Smash flight. Brothers tournament. 
Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I jumped out that window, that second story building. Uh, man, it was like a, it, it was a rush for sure. Like when I jumped off the train bridge in Marietta, which if you watch our sumo vlog, you'll, you'll kind of see that bridge. That was pretty crazy. It was a rush. I don't know if I felt alive as much as like, man, this is crazy. I hope I don't get eaten by a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Or hit one of those submerged logs and like snap oh, my leg. When I broke the 55 minute dash record, like I, like when that happened, I didn't know I broke it. And then afterwards, Coach Larry's like, Shane, you broke the record. And Coach Mayer, who hates me, he's like, he didn't break the record. He broke his foot. And, he, and he's like, yeah, he did. He's like, show him. He's like, well, fuck. And he walked away because <laughs> this my coach wanted me to fail. Yeah. It's a weird coach. Yeah. What an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Bo Jangle says, well, when the bat was loose in the studio, did you feel alive then? <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I felt the most manly I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, Frank has a question. What would be your dream physique? He said, mine is Chris Evans in Captain America. Best balance between size and athleticism. Let's see. That works for me. Uh, mine. I'll go with Chris Pratt from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> You're not a Chris Pratt. Well, maybe. He's a smaller pecs. Hey, he has the same belly. You wouldn't be Chris Evans. I have the same belly Chris Pat- Pratt has. I know. I watched Parks and Rec. You weren't that no. big. You know <laughs> he, what I mean? He lost a lot of weight. I know. After Parks and Rec. And I know. Okay. Yeah, but like, he, he was pretty. He was a lot to. chubbier. That's what I'm comparing to. You're not Parks like that. Rec. You're not like that. I actually no. have two, and they're very You're more different. more like Chris Pratt than you are Chris Evans. He's like peck heavy. Like, yeah, I'll, you know go, I'll, go, I'll go with Chris Pratt. He's, Chris Evans but has it's his dream. Huge he, shoulders. He can, he can choose anything he wants. Yeah, Chris Evans would be me. Can I just be Chris Pratt? Be realistic. Yeah, Chris Pratt. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm I thought there was a question. I'd be like Chris. Shane, that's what. Never mind. Kind of I'd, I'd be like Chris Evans with small arms. He's awesome. My arms couldn't get that big, but I can get my chest that big, and his yeah, legs. But what's are big. your dream physique? Like The Rock. The Rock would be. No, sweet. I don't want to look like The Rock. The Rock. I would like. Can we Calvin like The Rock? <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to think. What could I achieve on my, right now? You know what I mean? If I had yeah. all, well, see, all the, all how the about good, your dream? What's your I, dream? I would probably not want to be like Captain America, Chris Evans level. You couldn't. Because you could be like Thor. <laughs> Shut up, Shane. All right. Because <laughs> sure, you, like you could, yeah. Tall, little legs, big arms. Because I would never be able to maintain that normally, like my lifestyle and everything like that. Like the, the amount of time that you'd have to invest in that to maintain it, and then you'd never be able to achieve that again. Right? If you let yourself slide and it's like, ah, I, well, hope, yeah, you well, know, you'd have to invest more time in it. Yeah. So, like, slightly below Captain America. Chris Pratt. I mean, he was definitely. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chris Pratt is a, com- is a different physique. Though. You can see in that movie where, like, oh, you, did you say Chris Pratt? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah. How many times has this happened? Hey, Eric, what would be your dream physique? Uh, the one I have right now, I'm really happy. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. What's wrong with that? I'm, I'm actually not really kidding that much. I mean, maybe a little, little less than I am right now, but. I'm pretty happy the way I am. I would I mean, like to be I, I the mean, strongest. I, I don't. I don't really desire the kind of life, like you were saying, the kind of life that would the, the, would the necessitate that, that would that necessitate upkeep, that. Yeah. it's not a big deal for me. It might not require that much upkeep, though. I mean, more I mean, than I'm asserting now. You I mean, need to yeah, go for well, it. It, 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 would, it, it would take you a lot of effort to get there. Who the hell is that? Braun like, Strowman. Is that what you want to look like? No, Eric. I was saying well, needs to go look, for Braun Eric Strowman. Eric look like that. I think easily. Honestly. Yeah, but Braun Strowman is. Like, it would take you like, a lot to get there, but once you yeah. got there, you wouldn't higher than him. Because <laughs> you're so strong already. You I'm know? not sure. For no effort. I, I have two, and they're very different. Um, one of them would be like a, a Seth Rollins. Okay. No, he looks good. Yeah, and that's pretty achievable for you. I, <laughs> I love how all of your... your the other one, though, wrestling. that... Ball guy. I, Jason I, Momoa. I would love to look like Clamp. Who? Clamp? Yeah, yeah the, the Code Geass design. Who? Uh, Put it up there. Oh my gosh. No, like, talk, no, like how the characters Geass. are drawn in Code Geass. You mean Geass. just like to look that way? Yeah, Clamp is a studio. Yes. Yeah, you mean how they are? Yeah. Yes. Like Lelouch. Why? Lelouch. I don't know. Like, I just would love to cosplay as like Orin Host Club or Lelouch or whatever. Like, you can do that. It's just wear clothes. No, so <laughs> you can't. And though. still, I mean, <laughs> you can be anorexic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't before I gained all this weight. Yeah. That's I know. Your dream? It's, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a that's, nightmare. That's like some people's nightmare. <laughs> it's no. your dream. You know? yeah, I get you. It's, okay. No, yeah, it's your dream. It's, it's your just dream. like like two dreams. Like, you know, I, I, I want to be able to flip a switch. Like some days I would love to be big, muscular guy, but other times sure. I would like to be... You, you know, want to have shadow on you half your face and you want to walk around like that. <laughs> you want to just be a tall, skinny, scrub on the floor looking guy? 
Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, you gotta. Oh my god, I can't wait for people to see that. I can't yeah, I either. I know. I, I wanted to talk ballistic. all about it right now because I, I forgot I, until just this moment. Yeah. <laughs> we have. We can't. We can't say anything. Yeah. For me, I have to say it's, it's already too much. Oh man. Next week we'll have one of the greatest reactions to anything ever. Yeah. yeah. It, yes. If you guys aren't watching the Code Guest reactions, if you're not wanting early access, now's a good time. Yeah. Because early access <laughs> or full length. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Someone says, what about Roman Reigns, Rick? Uh, well, I mean, he's Samoan, so I don't look very Samoan, even though yeah, people but, sometimes... Like his, <laughs> his body type. But it could be your dream. Huh? <laughs> your, your dream to be Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I love their cookies. Yeah. You know, like, it, it's easier for me to train for strength, speed, and endurance than it is training to look a certain way, because it's yeah. a different diet, it's a different workout. I'd rather be... My, I guess what, what my dream would be whatever body that would make me yes. the fastest, yes. strongest, and the best endurance, all three at once, with no compromise for any of the big three. That would be, like, my goal. Someone, <laughs> someone says, indivisible girl. <laughs> Is that, like, a girl that can't be, like, you, you, she's, she's always set in her ways, or? Oh, Google it. What are you talking about? Indivisible, indivisible girl. Girl? They meant invisible girl from My Hero. Oh. Aaron's just making it terrible. It says, no. it, they, they typed it, indivisible. It, I'm just it like, does say I'm indivisible. I'm trying to picture what that power would be. Like, what is the indivisible? I'm picturing like you can't be divided. Like, it's not divisible. You can't be cut. <clears throat> Maybe, yeah. You can't be cut in half. Man, or oh, you're, okay. you're always yeah. very straightforward with your thoughts. You're never like, oh, man, should I, should I get pizza? Should I have a hamburger? Maybe your bones can't break. Like, you can lose, like, muscle and shit, but your bones don't break. That'd, That'd be, be cool. cool. I like that. I mean, that's basically just Wolverine. Wolverine right? heals. Yep. This would All be right. like, you no, can still I mean, like, rip with, the flesh and stuff. Like, just his skeleton. You can't break his skeleton. True. But, I mean, like, skeleton. his thing is that he can instantly just, that I'm makes him skeleton. indestructible pretty much. Yeah. This would be like, you can't break a bone. You could, like, you know, get cut and bleed to death, but your bone wouldn't break. Maybe it's something like, the like that would be opposite cool. of Mr. Glass. Yeah. Oh, so, the trailer looks so fucking good. you could still, well, no, that wouldn't be comfortable either. You could still, like, jump off of a building and land. Yeah. And, like, you wouldn't be... You might pull muscles and stuff. I mean, you definitely would. You would tear literally yeah. everything. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah. like, your stomach skin might tear from the yeah. force of your organs trying to escape. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Just hold them. <laughs> but your bones don't no. break and you're indivisible. Yeah, there yeah. you go. What, Shane? This Still is actually something to do with the beginning. This is another favorite part of my week I wanted to bring up. <laughs> well, someone on uh, the vlog... The E3 vlog, which if you guys haven't watched, you should watch because it's awesome. Eric did a great job. We had a good time. Uh, I would shoot my shots, you know, like, you know, the re unrealistically high basket. I don't know uh, they were just, why I thought you would bring this up when I yeah. saw that comment. I'm like, Shane's going to talk about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he did okay. it. You are. And I missed the, the three-pointers. Yeah. The normal just three-pointers. Well, yeah. they weren't normal. Aaron doesn't no, know basketball. Point. He was they're in the, just, he was, just he was in the band, yeah. and all they did was toot their horns <laughs> yeah. and sit back there in the nosebleeds. What's that, like 20 feet? I was center in basketball, so. Three pointers, I understand them. Let's go down and play right now. We'll vlog it all. All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> Shane, Shane couldn't shoot any shots at all. Well, it's anyways, uh, so this guy was like, man, I thought Shane could fucking ball, yo. He's, he's, he's a fucking, he's mud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I went to the Y, and I shot 400 shots the other day, 200 from each side, just inside just inside the three. Yeah. Uh, I said the wing, but it's actually the corner. Did you suck? Uh, no, actually, oh. on the left side, I made if he, that. If he did, he wouldn't have brought it up. No, I didn't. So I, well, he was right? <laughs> no. Well, I was just thinking, man, like, I'm thinner now, so, like, the, you know, shooting that many shots isn't going to be as hard on my knees. Uh -huh. I want to start playing basketball again at a higher level. I haven't been doing it in, like, a year. So I went on the left side, shot 200 shots. I made, like, 140-ish. And then on the right side, I made, like, 99. So it was less than 50%. But that's still pretty good. Uh, and I think it's because I was so tired. Because, like, man, this is really, this is a lot of shots. So was, I made a lot less on the right side, but I felt pretty good. I remember thinking, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video about this sometime. <laughs> make Eric, make Eric edit that. Yeah. Yes. You know, like so, regulation. Two, you say wrong. I was so resentful. I kept thinking about that when I was shooting. Like I was like so tired. I kept like slamming off the wall, catching and shooting it. Like I, I read like, that. I was like screaming. I read that I mean? comment and I was like. <laughs> Shane probably hate that. Yeah. And then it yeah. flashes you going. <laughs> 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 you know, there was no one else in the gym. I had to walk past. That person yeah. who I jumped out the window not to see. Yeah. Okay, I had to walk past that person, make conversation, just so I could get here and put in the work. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So I imagine that's I a big sacrifice. I would have looked at him and been like, eh. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm yeah. not a basketball move, player. Move on. <laughs> move on to the next one. She's like, ah. 
Oh. Man, Eric really can't lounge. Son of a bitch, I'm fucking lounging. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eric's terrible at the floss. Fat old people shouldn't do that. Oh, oh that was gosh. a great comment. Oh. Someone said that? Yeah. Someone, uh, in, I think it was in Discord, said, hey, we were watching the E3 video, and Aaron flossing during the video, I showed it to my eight-year-old daughter, and she watched it and looked at me very serious and said, fat old people shouldn't dance like that. Yeah. Old? Like, <laughs> fat old people shouldn't da- shouldn't do that dance. And they should see me we dance, were, dude. I'm terrible. We were out Pokemon hunting on the community day, so there was a car full of people, and I... That's when we were coming back from Williamstown, and I read it, and I, I said it out loud, and everybody's laughing. It was a great moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, earlier we were putting, like, we were, we were rearranging the wave cave, organizing, and I had, like, a rap song on, and Aaron was like, he does this thing where he shakes his hips like, 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 a, like a woman. He's shaking, he's singing, he's going, doo, doo, doo. Like, you see, like, his mouth going, do do. Uh, and I was like, Aaron, look. And then yeah. he stopped. This man. Okay, I'm going to yeah. read. I looked at that, and I was like, not old. Yeah. I'm going to read some bits and <laughs> donations. Okay. And the like. uh, top Screen gives 100 bits. Top Screen. Well, top screen. As he does every week. <laughs> Crimson gives 10 bits. Thank you, Crimson. And says, hey, guys, how's it going today? I recently finished Naruto Shippuden. Ooh. Shippuden? Shippuden. Shippuden. And now watching some side story. Rick, what's the longest anime you've ever watched? Well, I'm over 200 episodes <laughs> oh into One Piece. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably the longest. Dragon Ball Z, man, you've watched a lot of that. If you're, I've <laughs> just uh, before the Cell Saga and Dragon Ball Z okay. as well. So those are probably the two. Uh, Crimson gives another ten bits for Aaron. Oh. Could you and Melanie possibly react to Teen Wolf? It's probably my favorite show, and I think you and Melanie would love it. Love to see you guys react to it. Um, I don't know. We had a, I, I did a random Twitter poll just to kind of get like an idea of what people were wanting because we had finished Doctor Who, and I was like, what are we, what are we gonna do now? Like Supergirl's gonna be coming back. Yeah. And we plan on doing the new live Who. Yep. But uh, I put on there, because we had done iZombie and Supernatural, but there was more seasons of that we hadn't finished. And iZombie was really low. <laughs> yeah. But then, like, there was other, and a lot of people listed some stuff. But Supernatural ended up winning, like, by, mm-hmm. I think, 2 or 4% of the, the votes that casted on yep. that. So maybe, uh, maybe at some point we could do Teen Wolf. I don't really know anything about it, but. When are you guys starting Supernatural? I don't know. At the end of. We've Sorry. I, I'm going to say, we've, we started filming it. I don't know when they're going to get released or anything yet. I'm probably going to release the first one tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. Cool. Tomorrow is cool. Friday. Friday. Big announcements. It's with a Melron use On the deal. podcast. Yeah. So Supernatural Season 13, Melron reactions. At the end of the movie Teen Wolf, the first one with Michael J. Fox. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a, a dick in this thing. A dude yeah. pulls yeah. out his dick. That, we've that talked about shit, that. That should not be, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've talked about that one. Uh, Deadass David 2 has subscribed for the first time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Deadass. Hooded Carnivore you cheered. Say deadass. Thank you, Deadass. Cheered 100 bits. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much. Scott from Scotland subscribed. Oh, thank Sweet. you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Scott. Some new people. Is it land. Scotland because you're there? Uh, Mickle gave 100 bits. Thank Would you, you all consider a YouTube Red show if there was a good one out there? We've talked about doing Cobra Kai. Yeah, but there's yeah. no good ones. Uh, so maybe we'll, we'll do that one day. No, I haven't had you don't have to watch it. <laughs> I don't know what all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what all's on Red Tube. I know like PewDiePie had some like scare PewDiePie thing and stuff. But Cobra Kai is the only one that I've seen that was like, oh, that looks cool. He's called Red Tube. There was. Yeah, he yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> is, that not what is that what the kids call it these no. days? Isn't there like not. a Samuel Jackson quote about like the greatest thing of my generation is Red Tube or yeah. something like that? I think that's why they changed it to YouTube Premium. Right? Yeah, yeah. Is that why? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why YouTube they changed red. it. Because they're very good calling it red too. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I can't find it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. man. <laughs> just soaking it up. Uh, Empyrean Sky has resubscribed for 15 months. Holy Thank you, Empyrean shit. Sky. Thank you so much. Thank that is you. crazy. He says, just swinging by for that 15 months, folks. Ooh. Ooh. Dip602 gives 100 bits, says, got to go to bed, can't stick around, but have a great stream and good night, guys. Yep. All right, dip, well, he's gone. Dip, dip said hold on. Dip, dip, <laughs> tell you chip. Dip, dip, tell you to chip. Crimson gives 10 bits, asking, what Final Fantasy character would you want in Kingdom Hearts 3, Aaron and Rick? I would like Noctis from 15. Noctis is a man. I don't really know any. Um, Cloud. Final, I mean, he was already in the other ones. Barrett's <laughs> <laughs> on it, is it? Hmm? Barrett? No. Not that I recall. Did you play Kingdom Hearts? I, the first one. Okay. I beat the first one. <coughs> no, no, Barrett would be cool. Or Kokomo. <laughs> Cloud's in it. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I know. Um, I would like, want to wow. see fucking, dead dead. fucking Philistine. Um, Wedge and Biggs. Ooh, huh? Like from, I mean, from like Star War. Wars? From all of them. That's some Final Fantasy. That's an inside joke for me and Rick. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a Wedge and Biggs in every single one. Uh, wasn't there a Wedge and Biggs in a Kingdom Hearts? There m- might be. Like I said, I haven't I, played them all, so I don't know, but yeah. I thought there was. I only played the first one. Uh, Echo Dolly, 100 bits. Shane, you do touch us. I hope we touch you. Wait, when? <laughs> Who are you touching? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Crimson with another five bits. Just want to let you know I went to my local convention and met a guy that wrote the story for the Venom movie. Hmm. He says he loves Tom Hardy and is really excited to see the movie. He awesome. says he knows it's going to be good. Oh, good. Excellent. Good. That's cool. Fantastic Kate gives a thousand bits. Fantastic Kate. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Um. Thank you. R- Riss Bean or R Hiss Bean gives um has subscribed for the first time. Thank you, Thank Riss you Bean. For Thank you chance. for the first sub. Uh, Bo Jangles with twenty five hundred bits. Bo Whoa. Jangles, Bo Jangles. He yeah. says, I will be following you guys no matter what these copyright laws turn into. Oh, uh, thank, well, thank you, Bo. Thank you, Bo. That means a lot. Or Jangles. Mickle 346 with 100 bits saying, mm-hmm. y'all should do a chat submitted would you rather one day. That could be, be kind fun. of interesting. Okay. That would be interesting. There was one thing I was looking at online that uh, it was about like sampled music. And I was like, it might be fun because like, there's some things I didn't know about. It'd be fun if I like made a, a list and be like, all right, which of these like three songs is a sampled song? Sure. And see if you guys know like the sampled songs and yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah, that'd be what cool. you mean sampled? It's whenever they take a part of a song and use it into a different like beat or they go over it. Oh, yeah. okay. Like, um, uh, like Nicki Minaj has that Anaconda song, whatever, right? Yeah. Right. Which is she like, got that video too. We, right. Yeah. It's um, like Ice Ice Baby with Queen. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Kinda, <laughs> yeah. I just heard another one last night where a rapper went over Cold Cell's um, "Tainted Love." Mm-hmm. You know, it was, it was interesting. Yeah. It was a weird arrangement because yeah. I could hear the. Dude, some of them are very obvious, but some of them are not. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So like, like Toxic. You seen that one? Yeah, toxic. That was one. I was gonna. I was, that was one. I, you know what I think hey, happens? You're saying all these. I was no. gonna put you know what thing I think list. happens? I think I watch shit, and then you get it in your recommended YouTube because we use yeah. the same channel. Yeah. Because you always bring up shit. I'm like, I just That's watched why there's that. Weird shit in there sometimes. <laughs> you know the best implementation of that that was DJ Hero. Yeah. Hmm. You, you remember yeah. that? Yeah, I, I bought it, but I never played it. Yeah, it was great. Okay. Uh, Scott from Scotland gave 95 bits. Thank, Thank you, Scott. Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Azza subscribed. Azza. Thanks. I don't know the name. Has, Thank, has, you. Uh, Thank you so much. Aza. The Annoying Granter has subscribed. Ooh. A lot of new subscriptions this time. You're not that annoying. Thank you, Annoying Granter. And Luna Bear has subscribed. Luna Bear. Luna Bear. Luna. All right, let's do the redemptions. No. It's going to be great. Mickle Mick. <laughs> Mickle. All right, let's see what we got here. We have. It's Mickle Mick. Hey, we have some squats and push ups this time. Ooh. Not just slaps. Oh, there were some slaps from six days ago. Yeah, that would be. I was right. Oh, right. yeah, that's right. We didn't redeem the ones on Friday. Deny and refund. When we ended, so make sure we refund those. Yep. I'm, refund pretty the sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that five of those are from the same person. Maybe. Okay, so um, squats from top screen for Calvin. Scrub the floor. <laughs> Top screen's the only one that gets He's it right now. <laughs> he said it's done in chat. Really? Yeah. Aaron, you have that to. That editor. No, I'm not doing nothing. Aaron, or Calvin, you need to come over here. Over it looks like yes. you gotta come here. So top screen is the editor of uh, of the video we were talking about earlier. <laughs> yes. So he, only he knows what we're talking right. about. <laughs> oh my god, I laugh so much. <laughs> I know. Think Back about your up. form. Think about your form, Calvin. Just around the corner of the table. <laughs> Ten squats. Good ask for a little parallel. You don't have the bar on. Squat Jesus. Calvin. Squat Calvin. For one squat. thing, I'm not squatting a bar. I'm just well, yeah, yeah, but you, you still gotta sit deep back. Deep knee bends. Well, Two. Not squatting. This is not squatting. Three. This is four. Five. <laughs> put your feet shoulder width. No one cares, Shane. Six, six. Seven. Eight. Eight. There's no scrubbing going on. You know what you were doing right there? <laughs> is exactly what you hate Calvin does to you uh, for everything. No, he comes up to my face and then just grabs it. <laughs> what were you doing right there? You were right there. He came to me. <laughs> he didn't come to you. Jesse wants to know if Calvin is doing squats or ballet. Okay. 
And um, Aaron, you have some push-ups actually from Digital Nick. Where are you, man? Where can we see? Do on the table. Right here. On the table. Do on the table. Just, no. Just, right just, here. just move your chair and, and do them right, right here. Right here. I gotta take a shit Better so not bad. Pizza. So bad, I gotta take a shit. Um, you have any input, Shane? No, not really. <laughs> Uh, Jancy said, "This is really Some entertaining." Some people would argue that you got to put your chest to the ground, you got to put your hands in, but it doesn't really matter. Jancy said, "This is really entertaining, leaving for meetings and calls and coming back to the weirdness." Yep. <laughs> Why'd you use a camera? So, so they could see you better. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining That's us it. for this edition. Wait, Rick. What? <laughs> thank you, Sir Tony. Hey, Blind Wave crew, love you guys. He gave us oh. 200 bits. Thank you, thank Sir you. Tony. Thank you so much, Sir Tony. Much thank appreciated. You. Gotcha. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us for this edition of the Blind Wave Podcast. If you want to catch it live, it is every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm. Also, if you're watching this, be sure to catch us on Twitch tomorrow at 3. We're playing – what are we playing, Aaron? I don't know. All right. We're playing this mystery game. It's going to be teased. great. You don't want to miss it that much, I can guarantee. Mm. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bojangles with the 60 bits at the end. Ha-ha. Kisses. Oh. Kisses.